Hi, Vic. Hi, Kim. Can we get some yo's? Wait. Is that a tier two I see? I'm gonna do that bit every time I see you, Vic. I hope you like the attention. The landlord decided to screw us over yesterday? Yeah, for context, guys, if you follow my Twitter, you know the drama. Um... <clears throat> we'll talk about it later. No. <laughs> so we did the Pokerogue stream, right? It was good. Spoilers, I lasted for about like 30-40 minutes in the game, so like, longer stream than I thought. And I told chat, I was like, I promise I'm gonna end this stream, and I'm gonna click go live again, and we'll finish in stars in time. I clicked end stream, and then the stream was up for like 5 minutes, because I was setting up my, my game. And then... Okay, pro tip if you're a streamer, never tell your chat if your power goes out. Okay? Because that is publicly accessible information. But just lie, and say your internet goes out. Pro tip. So, first, because I, I, it was really funny, because I literally plugged in my Switch capture card, and then, like, the power went out. I was like, oh, fuck, I guess I broke... I blew the power! <laughs> I broke the house! Or the duplex. I didn't even think about that. Me neither. Me neither. I remember Northern Lion mentioned it in a clip, and that's how he... Somebody found his address. I was like, oh. Yeah, so, like... If anybody's streaming or considering a streamer, just don't say shit until the event has passed. Okay? Because it's not like people can backtrack power outages. You know, the government doesn't have the UI to do that shit because they're stupid. Anyway. Um, so, like, I plugged in my Switch capture card and the power in the whole unit went out. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Is it my fault? So, like, I look outside, the traffic lights are still on, everybody else still has power. So I'm like, oh... Okay, because <laughs> like sometimes it's how it is like um, If you're like on the West Coast and in some I think Hawaii and Japan is having like major Like water wind storms now. So Washington we've had like thunderstorms all throughout the state So a lot of people didn't have power the past few days. So I was like, oh shit I, just, I guess it caught up to me and then the power was out from 11 a.m. till about 2 so I was like shit I can't do shit. Wait, I swore. Oh, no. I was like no, we're demonetized now. Okay, somebody got auto modded. <laughs> okay, Kim, I'm deleting that because that could be TOS. <clears throat> um, PSA, do not jokingly make threats. Okay, okay. Thank you. East Coast had a few massive storms a few days ago. You guys probably got it. Yep. Yeah, on, I think it was Saturday. We had our first, like, thunderstorm. It was cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Kim, just be careful. That's how E-Rob got banned from TwitchCon one year. I said I'll fart on people who grocery stock you? <laughs> Wait, how is fart a permitted term? <laughs> what the hell? I, dude, welcome in. Can we get some yes? Wait, how is fart not a blocked word? Twitch staff. Yeah, so anyway, the power was out till 2, and I, I like, it. At 11.15, I was like, screw it, I'm gonna go take a nap. So I took a nap. I got woken up at 2 with everything being turned on back turned back on. Because, like, like, the fans were worrying. My ring lights, like, flashed back on. I got flashbanged. Yeah, so that was yesterday. That was yesterday. Okay, I need to post that I'm live. I keep forgetting. Ooh, Twitch support. We had a new Cosmic Abyss message effect. Uh, guys, if you cheer bits, you can choose new effects now in the chat. Isn't that cool? Somebody want to test it out? Um, yeah. Sorry, I was watching. I was looking at Hassan's tweet. Um, so, yeah. So, technically, if I really wanted to, Kim messaged me this. She was like, you know, you can ask your landlord for reduced rent this month. And I was like, yeah, I could do that, but... Wait, what? Twitch staff! Ain't no way! Thank you for the 100 bits! Thank you! Wait, Kim, or sorry, Vic, I'm sorry. If you want to do the highlight chat... Ooh, this is awkward. You have to click on the channel point button and click power ups. And then click message effects. Ooh, I'm sorry. That's awkward. But thank you, Vic! Can we get some Wakantans? Thank you, hon. Thank you. <clears throat> I literally was just giving you bits. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Thank you. You know, you're going crazy this month. I'm already at $9. Can we get a million? No, I'm kidding. 
Wait, Twitch stuff literally? Wait, I should turn on Do Not Disturb. Do Not Disturb is on. Twitch literally just tweeted out, Starting October 1st, we're increasing new tier 1 sub and gift prices on the mobile app. And they're going to talk about it on stream today. In three hours? What? I didn't get an email. Wait, it said for mobile. Wait, how much? Wait, let me see if I got an email. Wait, that's crazy. <clears throat> that's crazy. Why are they increasing mobile prices again? Okay, I did not get an email. They lied. Twitch lied. People cried. Wait, why? At least it's just for mobile subs. If you sub on mobile, I'm sorry. You're a dumbass bitch. They charge you like a dollar more. Okay, anyway. Hi, guys. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is Wednesday, August 21st, 9.34 a.m. I'm live early. Because I want to beat this silly little game. But we had Kim, Vic, and Tooth in the starting soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. And once again, thank you, Vic, for the 100 bits plus $1. Now, I know you guys are here for gaming, but I do have an update for the art stuff. I said this yesterday on stream. But I am in the process of getting, like, an actual, like, business bank account. And I officially have made the decision I'm going to do it next week. Next week we're doing it. Because that way, like, I can properly, like, bookkeep and- Oh, my hair is so bad. That way, like, I can properly bookkeep and, like- Streamer calling us dumb clipped. Clip it! See what happens! You guys genuinely think you're gonna cancel me? If you clip, it just means my likelihood of getting hidden gem, it is in the Twitch hashtags, will be greater. Do it! Anyway, so I'm gonna be making, like, a formal business account probably next week. Because I got, like, all the documentation that I needed yesterday. Oh, another thing! When the power went out, I couldn't file my fucking business paperwork. Because I was like, okay, I can file it now because I can't stream. And I was like, shit, I don't have power, I don't have internet. So you know what my landlord, I'll say it, cucked me for doing my business operations. Should we sue type 1? Anyway. So, yesterday, I was able to order some things for the art website. I got some envelopes and some sleeves. And you guys want a little leak? You guys want a leak of what it's going to be? I probably can launch these next week whenever I get the envelopes in the mail. I'm only going to show the sketches. Because I am working on finals and prototypes. And by that, I mean, like, watercoloring. You guys want a leak? Oh, it's so washed out. Here's two of them. The theme is birds. It's birds on wires. So, obviously, it's inspired by, like, real telephone wires, but obviously they're changed. Because I don't want to dox myself. <laughs> so, um, these are two of them. There will be four different illustrations. I'm planning on doing watercolor. And then either India ink or fine liners. And then some acrylic white for highlights. What birds are those? They're primarily crows. Primarily crows. So yeah. A little leak. That's all I'm saying. Next time I'll talk about it is when they're actually done. Like I said, I've been practicing, like, different watercolor techniques. And let me just say, they're gonna look nice. And for the first time ever, they actually will have a border, so if you want to put thumbtacks in, in the wall, you can. I love, thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, so that's our little leak for today. Talking about art, guys! Today's stream is presented to you by Peace and Art MyShopify.com. Oh my god! New Lionel prints are available. You can get the whole collection in either color or black and white. Or you can get singles to where you can get a 10% chance of a hollow. Ain't that wild. So guys, bookmark the website today. Do it, please. I need the cloud. Also, it was really cute. Because um, I had to contact Shopify support, which you hate contacting support. You know, it's awkward. And then they were so nice. They were so nice. It was really cute because I was like texting back and forth with a support agent and we were like having a casual conversation. Not anything says. But they were like, oh my god, I love your arts. And I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> like, they totally didn't have to be nice, but they were really nice. I was like, oh, I feel so seen. Okay, anyway, should we play the game? Guys, the plan is simple. 
We're continuing in Stars in Time. Once again, this is rated teen for mild violence and themes of mental illness. There is a full content warning at the link in the pinned chat. I'm going to go ahead and verbally read off the main content warnings. So, if any of these themes bother you or trigger you, please don't watch this stream, don't watch the video. Watch the next fun stream, okay? So the main themes are trauma slash mental illness, death, violence, self-harm or suicide, unreality, and children in peril or dying. But we've seen like 80% of this game, it's honestly not too crazy, it's more abstract themes. So it's, it's not like on the nose, so do not worry. Do not worry. <clears throat> do not fear, it's not like very violent. Take my money now, I'm a lurk. Okay. Enjoy your lurk, big. Have fun at work. Smile. Or wait, are you off today? I don't know. Okay, so those are the triggers, guys. If those bother you, politely click off, and we'll see you tomorrow. Wait, did you cheer more bits? It didn't- Wait, was there no alert? What the fuck? What happened to my bit message? Yeah, it didn't- It didn't show. It shows on the leaderboard, though. What the fuck? Wait, let me see if- wait, what? But thank you for the bits, Vic. It didn't show. Oh, wait! It's- wait, what the fuck? It says, Vic can't use 250 bits for a message effect. Wait, it didn't show! Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no! Um, wait, let me see- wait. It could be- it could be not in my alert box. Twitch staff, honestly? Okay, wait, let's see. Crowd control, throne, cheering, new variant, general settings, new cheer, first time cheer. Wait, is there no alert for it? There's no- wait, there's no way for me to set up alerts for it. What the fuck? Twitch staff! It's okay, the streamer scammed me. No, I didn't! No, I didn't! I didn't! Okay, either way, thank you for the 250 bits, Vic. Okay, guys, I think we just learned. Don't do the message effects. I literally don't see it. It's okay, I don't care. Thank you for being understanding. But that's- that's really stupid. Why does it not, like, fucking work? Like, I'm looking at my- my Twitch dashboard. Cheered exactly. There's no option, I don't think, or channel points. This is under channel points. New variant. Oh my god, there's literally... I'm looking at my... Because on Twitch, you can make a custom alert box for Twitch integrated alerts. <laughs> Vicanton gets scammed. <laughs> okay, well, I'm literally looking at my creator dashboard, and there's no option for to add alerts for the message effects. Maybe it's because they only show up during the actual stream. It doesn't show up in the VOD. And literally, I'm in Twitch mod view. Wait, can I open my stream? Hopefully this doesn't crash my computer. Let's see, channel. I'm gonna open my actual chat box. Wait, it doesn't show on the stream either. What? What? Okay, guys, just don't- just don't even do the power-ups. They don't fucking work. They don't show on screen. I'm not seeing it in the VOD. Maybe it showed during the live chat, but... Okay, well, at least we figured it out. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but either way, thank you, Vic. <laughs> just do regular TTS, I guess. Okay, are we ready for the game now? I saw nothing? Can somebody at Twitch staff and say we're gonna cancel them, please? Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna... Undock my Switch. And then, make sure it's synced. Maybe it's because they just updated the message effect today. Maybe that's why it's not working? Either way, L Twitch, L Twitch.
Guys, should I stream on YouTube? Type one. Nah. I would only stream on YouTube for like a vertical stream. I kind of like YouTube's UI for vertical streaming. Because like I didn't stream vertically yet, but I've like, I looked at it. And the UI is a bit better. It's kind of like an IG live. Okay. Today we're continuing our In Stars and Time playthrough. Last time, I beat the king, but allegedly, because when we got back to all our friends, we somehow died. Now there's something probably we missed. We most likely have to play the entire game again, but we'll see how that goes. So if you want to watch me play games on... So if you want to watch me play games live, you can follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17. Let's go ahead and get back into In Stars in Time. Move number 19, playtime 141. That is not real and true, that is fake news. Okay, we're back here. Still here. Okay, I gotta remember the voices. Sifrin, you're up. I'm... I'm sorry I woke you up earlier. I know you joked about it, but are you feeling better now? I'm worried. Oh yeah, because she woke us up from a nightmare. Well, this is new. Yeah, don't worry about me. Ah, uh, okay, but... You really have to talk to Loop right now. I have things to do. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Huh? Um, Sifrin, please wait. What now? Well, I know you're busy, but... But help me tell everyone is about the sleepover. Can you come talk to me later? So we can talk? Oh no, she's gonna break up with me. I'll wait in front of the library. Please? Oh. Okay. Okay, go do your thing and then come back, okay? I'll be waiting. He nod again. Habit takes over and you tell her about the carrot method. Wait, how did you know about... And you wink. Okay. Mirabel learned the craft skill adorable moving shield again. You can't. You can't talk to anyone right now. You have to see... You have to ask Luke what they think. Oh, okay. I wanted to talk to Mirabelle first, though. I don't like following the rules. You ran here to talk to Luke. To try and figure out what to do, but... You can't look at them right now. You can't. So... I... beat the king. You did? Oh, stars above. I'm so proud of you. You did it. You succeeded. You... And yet I'm still here. Yes, indeed you are. They don't seem surprised. They don't seem surprised at all, do they? Did you know this would happen? Oh, there's drama! I had a feeling, yes. But it felt cruel to tell you, so I didn't. You looked so... so happy and innocent and stupid. I just didn't have the heart to tell you. I just didn't have the heart to tell you. I knew from the start that the loops wouldn't end after defeating the king. Just tell me if something's gonna happen. Don't keep it inside, just tell me. I don't want you to carry things if it's gonna bother you, just tell me. That goes with everything. It's so frustrating. Why not? I don't know why it didn't end with beating the king. I just knew it wouldn't. I... I never thought about the reason why I got this power. I just thought it was to beat the king. That the change god someone, anyone, gave me the power to beat him. But if beating him made me loop back anyway... I don't know what to do now. 
Man, I'm making Sifrin sound so mad. <laughs> so, will you give up then? You're stuck in this loop, Stardust. Beating the king brought you back here. You don't know why. You don't even know how you got this power. You don't know if there's even a way to escape. So, because there's no clear way to escape, will you give up? Give up? No. You're fine, aren't you? Right now, you're alive. Right now, you can think. Right now, your allies are still here. Right now, you're not alone. There's no reason to give up now, just because you're trapped. If you're trapped, find a door and open it. And you still have some doors to open, don't you? No, literally, there's like hidden doors that I missed. The head housemaiden seemed to know something was wrong, didn't she? Ah, I guess she did. She said something about something being broken, failing. Did she mean the loops? The loops breaking. That's possible. Maybe the loops were supposed to stop after beating the king, but something went wrong somehow. And that's something you can find out. You just need to talk to her again. Find out what she knows. And the king? The king. What about him? Something about his powers. He can freeze people's time, and I can rewind time. Yes, that's... Both powers are related to time, aren't they? I don't think I've ever heard about anyone who could control time before. Isn't that something to find out more about? I suppose so. Maybe I just need to ask him. Ask the king? Well, um, sure. I suppose that might work. Talking to the king himself, I do wonder what he'd have to say. It's worth trying. And, Stardust, I know you're not interested in talking to your party about the loops. If so, you'll have to make sure to act so they don't find out anything is wrong. And you already failed this loop by making your housemaiden worried about you, haha. <laughs> ah, uh, it, it's true. With the way you woke up, she'd probably worried about you, even now. She said she wanted to talk to you, didn't she? You should talk to her this loop, see what that's all about. Add this to your brain list of things to do. There's quite a few things on it already. Find out more about the king and his powers to see if they're related to yours. Talk to the head housemaid to see if she knows more about the loops. Talk to Mirabel this loop, see what's wrong. Might as well talk to everyone else after too. But see? As long as you have paths to follow, questions to answer, goals to strive for, you'll be fine. Yeah, literally, you gotta find a passion in your life if you don't have one. There's always something for everyone. You're fine. But... Why is Loop helping you? They appeared after you looped for the first time and said they were there to help. And they knew about the loops. Knew this whole time beating the king wouldn't help. And they picked that name, didn't they? Loop. Aren't they related to the loops too? Hey, Loop. Huh? Ooh, drama! Wait, I kind of want to run a poll. I... I'm kind of scared. What do? Guys, there's a poll. What should I do? What should I do? Should we confront Loop? Or say nothing? I kind of want to confront Loop. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. Okay, I literally just got the email about the updating Twitch price. Let's see. Guys, vote in the poll now. Do you think I should confront Loop or say nothing? I'm going to vote. I'm going to confront Loop using my democratic right. Go vote in the poll. Vote, vote, vote. Vote now. Should I confront Loop? Dang. 
Yeah, Twitch is increasing the sub price again. Including US, sad. Okay, nobody voted, but I voted, so I'm gonna confront Loop. Screw it. I want drama. Are you really here to help me? They look guilty. Stardust. Yes. If you can believe anything, believe that. I asked to be here, so I could help you. Why? Aren't you stuck here too, just because you're helping me? I reiterate, Stardust. I asked to be here. Don't worry about me. Being here is surprisingly restful. I'm here to help you any way I can, and I mean it. If they're offering their help, it'd be stupid not to take it, isn't it? To answer your question, though, huh? No, Luke. I won't give up. It's too early to give up. I'm very glad to hear that, Stardust. Please don't give up, Stardust. If the loop started, they can end. It's just basic logic. I can guarantee that you won't be stuck here forever. It's a loop guarantee. And as always, you can count on me to help you. If you need a refresher or help figuring out where to go, I'll be here. I'm here to help, Stardust. You smile. <laughs> you know. Uh, thank you, Loop. Oh my. Genuine thanks. Gross. It's my pleasure, Stardust. In the meantime, how can I help you on this wonderful new Loop, Stardust? I think I'm good. So either way, I need to talk to everyone again. Talk to Mirabelle first. And then I guess I can make an attempt at the king. Wait, Bo isn't here. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Where's my man? Did everybody just go to the lighthouse already? No, they're here. Odile. Oh, Sifrin. You look rested. Glad to see you this laid back on the day before the end of the world. Anyway, how can I help you? Okay, no new dialogue here. But Loop did say I should tell everybody about looping, which I don't know why I kept it a secret so long. Mirabelle. She wanted to talk to you, didn't she? Oh, Sifrin. Um, sorry to bother you while you're busy, but I really wanted to make sure you were okay. You... You'd tell me if anything was wrong, right? Well, where is this coming from? Of course I'd tell you. Sifrin, I... I'm... Not sure you're telling me the truth here. I don't want to force you to do anything, but you have to know I want you to be happy. And I know this is a stressful moment for all of us, but the only way we can get through this is if we talk to each other, if we share our worries. So, um... I guess what I'm trying to say is... If you need help with anything... If you need help with anything, I'm here for you. Huh. Okay. Weird. Why is she telling you this? Ah. You know why she's asking you this? Poor Mirabelle just can't say it, so you'll have to do it for her. Clearly what's happening is... Do you need help with something? Huh? Uh huh? No! That's not why I'm- uh. Mirabelle erred at you. Huh. You can be such an oblivious person sometimes. Anyway, I- And she sighed and called you names. Who is this? I don't need help. Not at all. Okay, now that's a lie. 
Not even with those papers of yours? She's been looking at those for every loop you've been in. Clearly there's something wrong with them. You book the papers to make your point. Huh? No! Not at all! Do not look at the papers! The papers are relevant! Do not look at them! Sifra and I see you looking at them! You arch an eyebrow, smiling. Ah! Alright! Yes, the papers are giving me a lot of trouble and I hate them! But I'm only looking at them now to get worried at something other than, um, tomorrow? They aren't that big a deal. If I have to be worried, I'd rather be worried about the thing that won't kill me. There's even more in my dorm room in the house. Those stupid papers have been following me since before the King stuff even started. There's more in her dorm room? The one on floor three. So, if we're done talking about my papers, if there's nothing I can do for you, Sifrin? Nah, I'm good. Huh. I'll see you later, then. Sounds like you could help Mirabeau with her problems if you went snooping a bit. If she needs help, maybe everyone else does, too. You should ask everyone and see if you can help them with anything. Oh, wait, we're being a good friend? Oh, yeah, because Mirabeau had papers in our dorm room. In the floor, too. And you know what else I have? To tell you guys to follow the channel, because, guys, we are... 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to type a chat. Isn't that pretty sick? I also forgot to post on Instagram that I'm live, so I'm gonna do that right now. Also, hi, Cupid. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hi. Okay, I literally forgot to post that I'm live. This is awkward. We hope you've been doing well, Cupid. Also, don't worry if you've missed the game. We're basically starting over. <laughs> Been busy, but good? You know, I think it's better to be busy than have nothing to do. Because when I was- I'm almost done with my posting. When I quit my job, I had like literally no obligations, no responsibilities. Like, I still had to pay my, my parents stuff. No, my camera's gone! Fuck. Anyway, so like, I had like nothing in my schedule, nothing that I had to do, and it felt so empty. And that's why I started streaming! Okay, I'm resetting everything. Okay, well now my switch isn't connecting. This is awkward. What is a peace and stream without issues, right? Okay, camera's back. I'm resetting my switch capture card. It was bugging this morning. Is it? I think it's funny how I say bugging instead of glitching. I don't know if that's like slang already or not, but I think it's funny. Okay, game capture. Oh my god, there's two of me. Wait, isn't that wild? This is how dark my actual camera is. And this is with this is with filters. There we go. Because you can always artificially add light to camera feeds. You just have to adjust your contrast and then your brightness. But brightness makes everything wider, so it's best to adjust your contrast levels. Okay, I'm almost done. We gotta let the IG frogs know. My IG reels have been doing good, though. I get like a thousand per. It's kind of crazy. Oh, what? I don't want to highlight. Okay, I'm done. Sorry for the delay. We are back in business, everybody. Okay. Verifying that the audio... A good... Okay, now we're gonna talk to everybody again to see if they need favors. We still don't know where Bo is. Oh wait, you know, it might be good to reset now.
Can I help you with anything, O'Dell? Do I need help with anything? Are you this bored, Sifrin? O'Dell seems to realize you're genuinely asking. Ah, well... I'm looking for a certain type of book. A type of book, not a specific book? No, not a specific book. It's... it's a type of book called a family tale. Have you heard of those? Nope. What is it? It's a book filled with tales written by a single family, through generations. It's a tradition in Vagard. I... I've always wanted to read one. But since each family has theirs, and it's something you're supposed to keep in one family, not show others, I was never able to touch, let alone read one. But I've heard when a family dies off, the family tale might be taken by houses, as a way to save those pieces of history. It's in the diary bookshelf, for sure. Huh. You didn't know that. And so... So you'd like a family tale of a family that died off? Yes. Huh. You never knew she was interested in that. Family tale-ology? Huh? Of a sort. Oh, <laughs> So, will you help me? Yeah, of course. Oh my god, Sifrin is blushing! Thank you, Sifrin. Huh. Okay. I was planning to look in Dormont's library, but I have to buy some supplies. I want to look inside Dormont's house, but who knows if we'll have time to search, so... So you should check the libraries at your disposal and see if you can find a family tale. So that makes Dormont's library, the houses, and the house's secret library at least. Better start looking. No, the camera! Dude, what is going on? I cannot have a good day, can I? Okay, we're putting fans on full blast, everybody. Buckle in. Buckle in. Buckle in. I'm resetting everything. I'm resetting everything. Hopefully, bumping my fans is working. Okay, I'm locked in. Okay, I'll see you at the clock tater later then. For sure, that book has got to be in the secret library. But we'll check this one. Yep, it's not here. Maybe Bo is back at the tree? Where else would Bo be? Yeah, Bo ain't here. Bo ain't by his boulder. I think either way, I'm gonna have to reset this loop. So we'll talk to Bonnie and then reset. Bonnie's here, looking morosely at the fields. Bonnie. Hey, friend. What do you want? Can I help you with anything? Help me? But I don't want your help. I don't want you to help me with anything! Ah, you're still hated, huh? You don't? I don't! You're stupid and you don't know me, so I don't want you to help me! I don't know you? You really don't! Okay, I'm doing the voice bad. <laughs> Not even a little bit! You don't even know me and my three favorite foods, stupid! Ah. You're right. <laughs> That's a crime. Yes, it is! Wait, you're making fun of me! See? That's also why! Why I don't want to talk to you! Just go away! So mean. 
But Bonnie looks sad still. Okay. This is silly, but what if you could prove you do know their favorite foods? Do you want something? Uh, nothing for now. Hmm. See you at the clock tower. Okay, I think I need to reset. Because we're missing Bo. For some reason, Bo isn't out. Oh, here's Bo! Good thing I checked here. Isabeau is here, looking towards the house. Hi again, Sif. You looked like you were in a hurry earlier, so I left you alone, but... Is everything okay? He smiled and nod. Sure, I I'll believe you. What's up? Can I help you with anything? Do I need help with anything? Um... He's blushing. Well, maybe, kind of, but... Hmm. It seems serious. Does he have a big problem he needs help with? You steal yourself. Okay, well, I'd rather you ask everyone else if they need help first. Mine might take some time. Wait, I did, though. Huh. A task so long, it might take a long time. It must be really important to him. He not seriously. <laughs> so serious. So, um, yeah. Make sure to help everyone else and do what they need to do first. And that's all for now, Bo. Okay. Let me know if you need anything, okay? So we need to find the papers, the book, and then Bonnie's favorite foods, and then Bo will tell us. I'll ask him, can I help you again? Hmm. You haven't helped everyone else yet, alright? I don't wait until you're done. Sounds like you better help everyone else in the same loop first. Okay. Huh. Should I do with this loop? Loop did imply that I kind of messed up on this loop, though. I, I like, worried Mirabelle. So I think I do need to reset and then play the game again. I have to play it again. Because <gasps> we don't necessarily know what floor the hidden book is in. Oh no, it's for sure on the second floor. We need to figure out what foods. Yeah, we need to figure out which foods are Bonnie's favorite. And Bonnie usually says their favorite foods at the at the very end of floor one. So I think we should warp to floor one and then do floor two and floor three again. I kind of want to go to the clock tower to maybe see if Bonnie shares some of their favorite foods at the little dinner we have. So I'll do that. I just won't skip through the dialogue, and then we'll reset for sure. Because I do not want to do floor one again. I don't want to talk to Loop. Ew, Loop. I'm gonna hold B. Mirabelle's like, oh my god.
We'll stay with you, smile. Yeah, Bo's gonna riz. Against your will, you hold your breath. Oh, we called him a chicken! Dot, dot, dot. But you don't tell us when you beat the king, you're a liar. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so nothing new here. We'll have to die. You wonder if you'll be able to sleep tonight. Give me a tear so I can reset sooner, please. Thank you. Okay, we have to do the fight. I just wanted to see if there was new dialogue. Sifrin is now level 66, and learn the craft skill Regenerate. Hella Gatorade. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get sued. Holy! We're all so weak in the beginning. Sit and die, but like, oh my god. I did, and I don't. As long as I keep the safe- Okay, there's gonna be the boulder. Kill me. <laughs> you got crushed. Start again. Oh, I should have talked to Loop. Oh, no. Um, shit. Should I talk to Loop? I should have talked to Loop before I reset. Um, I already know what I need to do. I need to do their tasks that they want me to do, and then I need to talk to the king again. So, no, I think I'm gonna loop. I'm gonna loop to the end of floor one, so then we get the little treat. Use five sparkles to loop forward to floor one with all doors open. Yes, because I need to see the food dialogue on floor one. Back here again, still here. Also, hi, Electra. Can we get some yos? Hello. 
The switch. You forgot to press the switch. Oh, with the boulder. I don't care. Stupid. Your whole body hurts. I don't care about the switch. I wanted to die. In game. Never in real life. Smile. Okay, so we can just go past here, do the fight. <laughs> we do the level one fight, we have our meal, and then level two, we need to find Mirabelle's dorm room, and then the book in the library is in floor two. A sadness. Guys, watch this easy peasy lemon squeezy first try. I think this one's my least favorite boss. It looks like a crumpled up tissue. My one year sub anniversary is approaching? How far are you? Wait, let's see. 11 months? Damn. You're so close to the triple sunflower. What are you going to do to celebrate, huh? Oh yeah, I need to change everybody's equipped perks. Aw, oh, this boss is going to take a while. I'm going to eat a snack? That does sound pretty good. Oh, it is paper type. I think I'm just gonna keep attacking. It's immune? I should have gave my turn away. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Guys, get cozy. Regenerate. For three turns, an ally regenerates 10% of their HP. <gasps> Wait, that's kind of crazy! Yo! Oh my god. Okay, that did jack shit. Dude, I hate being in the lower levels. I'm so dumb and weak. Rock. You know what else is done? Nah, it's not time for an ad. Got a paper combo for sure. Watch this. Hell yeah. Dude, only halfway there, bro. This is going to be a battle of endurance. I need to keep building the combos. got nothing good.
I guess Mirabel can guard. Because it is a rock enemy. Regenerate. Let's try this. Oh, it's for everybody? Oh my god. I thought it was just for one ally. Wait, that's insane. Sifrin is so cool. I can't see it anyway. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Immune to paper. screens. This will take them out for sure. Hell yeah. You breathe in and out. 6,000 XP received. Sifrin is now level 67. Mirabel is now level 47 and learned the craft skill Lovely Mirroring Cure. Isbo is now level 47. Odal is now level 47. Okay, that took a hot minute. You know what might take more than a minute? The ads, because guys, we are an hour to stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. Click subscribe to see if you got a free sub available. Do it now. Do it now. Not the ads, you are literally a sub. I gifted you a sub. Or are you just complaining in solidarity for the non-subs? Imagine being a non-sub after a subathon. How cringe. Okay, I'm locked in. We're beating this game today. Clueless Shirley. Okay, we're gonna have our meal. I'm going to be very careful with the dialogue. I'm skimming, I'm not reading it. Oh my god, everybody's hungry. Bonnie's excited because now Bonnie can cook. It's snack time, baby. Let's take a break. Heads or tail dilemma. I fell on tails. Oh yeah, so that was RNG. Because Odell wished for them to win. The favorite tree is fake. Oh, and then Bonnie's like, oh my sister's still dead. Plantain chips? Okay, they didn't say anything about plantains. Second snack? Cookies. Boring but delicious cookies. Okay, they didn't say anything. Third and final? Some, uh, oginiri. Oh, on onion giri. Okay, 
They like rice. We're writing that down. They like rice. They like rice. Oh! Uh, it went through! So body likes rice, huh? <laughs> I knew I had to go back here. Now choose. Choose this one you want. Bonnie said they like onigiri, so I'll take the cookie. Yummy. Good thing I went back here. Now we know Bonnie likes rice. I'm gonna talk to Bonnie again. It's not stupid. I already did these already. Okay, we continue on. I don't want to save here. I don't really need to, because I think I have lower stats than when I saved before, and I don't want to override it. Okay, back to level 2. I have to go to the left first, I believe. Because I need to find the library. Oh yeah, that's her friend that's frozen. Oh no, oh no, how could they? They're dead! I mean, no, they're, they're not dead, they're frozen! Dude, so much yapping. Yap, yap, yap. All a woman do is yap. <laughs> I'm in that demographic. Don't be- don't worry. Oh. I didn't bump. Oh yeah, I need to check every room anyway for books. Because the Bonnie book. While passing through, you take a deep breath and- Oh, uh, whoa. Uh, don't poke my side, Sif. I'm ticklish. Oh, that's wonderful information to have. You feel lightheaded. Yo, we can tickle him. <laughs> Women, yeah, men lie. That's so real and true. <laughs> no! Me! <laughs> Twitch chef, I'm not being sexist. I'm reading a chat message. Don't worry. You're not this guy. Hmm. Wait, I'm just now realizing... How will I ask Bo what favor he wants? Unless I go back to the start. Fuck! Oh, I don't know. Ugh. Lower enemy attack, please. Thank you. Turns it regenerates HP. Okay, that's not too bad. Thousand XP received. That was clean. Papers. Oh, the 
the head house maiden. She knew something about whatever is happening to you. Maybe you could try and ask her what she knows. He picked up the key. He found the rock key. <laughs> Various boring subjects, that's so real. Okay, I got the key. No, not the boulder! And this was... Oh, the secret library is over here, and this is the regular library. We found the paper key! Whoa, it's a secret passage. <laughs> nice one. We are the one who found it, buddy. You wake. Yo, they're blushing! Isabel, don't let the wink distract you. Uh, crab, wait! You've already moved on. Hi, Marceline. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Dang, the book is not in here! Grr, I wanted the family tale book. Bonnie takes the book and opens it to a random page. Oh, it's a cooking book. It's talking about carrots and stuff. What? Oh, what? Let me see. Ha, huh, no, that's the carrot method, Bonbon. Bon. Not carrots. Oh, the carrot method. Sifrin reminded me of it yesterday. That's how I figured out this nice new shield skill. Is that so? You smile awkwardly. Ah, uh, your new sheared skill. Sheared. Shield. They show it in this book, too. Look. Oh, they do. If Sifrin didn't teach me yesterday, this could have been useful. But I already knew it, book. Sifrin taught me, book. Why is she talking to the book? <laughs> and I'll protect us against the king, book. Wait, I think Odal's on to us. Odal is staring at you. You look away. Maybe you shouldn't have looked at that bookcase. How am I supposed to know? Ah, this book mentions shields that reflect attacks too. Those are so complicated. I wish I could figure it out someday. Moldy old books. No family tales. Okay, we've seen this color dialogue before. The family tale has got to be on the bookshelf that had the diaries. I don't remember exactly which room it was in. It had to have been the second or third floor, though, because that was like a recent story development. Okay, why is this taking so long? Why can't I fast forward? Here at the very bottom. Oh my god! Papara's fairy tale. Where? Papa what now? Who checked it out? Someone called Charles Choquette. That was the bakery outside. Charles Croquette? Oh, that's the Bollinger in Dormont. Does he have a book you want, Madame Odile? So he has it. The Bollinger in Dormont, huh? They sold croissants, if you remember correctly. Well, I'll have to check after we beat the king and before I go away. Hmm? What? What are we talking about? Huh. What about you, Sifrin? You were looking around. Did you find the book you were looking for? Huh? A book? Are you both looking for a book? 
I was, but it's fine. Hey, are you ignoring us? What's happening? Is there another secret quest? Um, no there's not. If you say it's fine, then it is. Let's get going, everyone. Maribel and Isabel look at each other and sigh. So the Bollinger and Dormont might have checked out a fairy tale. We should go back to Dormont and let Odal know. Okay, so I'm gonna write that down. We gotta talk to Croissant Guy. And then we still need to complete level 2 and level 3. That way we can see the different food dialogues for Bonnie. Okay, good thing I checked that pile of papers, because I legit was just gonna, like, breeze past it. Shit. Shit, dude. It's all coming together. Oh, not this guy. I'll be able to get a combo in time. Cool. Watch this, guys. You breathe in and out. 700 XP received. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Huh. Their fist is closed as if they're holding something. Could it be? You try to get it out. Uh, Sif? What are you? Their hand is frozen in time, but you manage to get the item out. It's a dark earring. Same design as the one they're wearing on their left ear. You got the bonding earring. Put the earring in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Oh my. Oh. Oh crap! That's the other half! They didn't give it to their partner yet? We have to find their partner. And give them the earring! Time to find their partner. I think they were in the leftmost room on the right side of floor three. No, it was the, the, sorry, the rightmost room on the bottom side of floor three on the right path. Because they were crying, I think. Either way, we have to go back to floor three in this attempt, or this loop. So it's I. No! I don't want to level too much because I'm going to have to reset anyway. Sifrin looks so sad now, I just noticed. Even in the Wombo Combo drawing, they didn't look happy. They looked disgruntled. Look, Sifrin's not smiling in that pose either. You breathe in and out. 400 XP received. Sifrin's so sad. I what I know I saw that. Okay, I wasn't sure my game was glitched. That has to be intentional. That's the second time I've seen that. Oh, 
Out of disrespect, you open the book. <laughs> Yeah, there was nothing else in this room. Dang it! Yeah, see, look, Sifrin looks disgruntled in that pose, too. Now. They used to be smiling. You breathe in and out. 700 XP received. Isabeau is now level 48. Odal is now level 48. A sadness? It resists paper, so that means it's scissors. There we go. It takes a lot, a lot longer to build a rock attack. Do you have my turn to bow? Because bow has two rock moves. And this will for sure take it out. Yeah, Sifrin still ain't smiling. You breathe in and out. 1,100 XP received. You got a star crest. Go down for the key. <laughs> Annoying. I wish this could be like Pokemon to where I can just dodge encounters. I want to repel or something. Because at this point, I'm just progressing to like do the objectives and the story. I don't need to level up because I have a save. I have a save point at the very end.
Nice. You breathe in and out. 650 XP received. A book thief frozen in time. Oh yeah, he took his... He took her book. This was the book about the traps. I still need the long stick. Easy. Ooh, Colleen! I think I can progress now? Yeah, okay, cool. I guess Mirabelle's dorm was on the third floor. We gotta aim for the right guy. Cause right is right. Try the regenerate, see how it does in this fight. So they gain the HP after the attack. Giving my turn to Sifrin so they could do a scissor attack. Because even if you attack the left enemy, the right one still kills him. They hit the one guy! Or they didn't hit the one guy that was weak to paper. Increasing our defense. Okay, we're kind of struggling right now. No heals. <laughs> Healing Oda. But I'll still does not have their scissor move, so let's decrease enemy speed. Oh, I did it on the wrong guy. <laughs> God damn. Giving my turn back to Sifrin. should kill, but it never does. It's so unfair, honestly.
Yeah, no more heals. And we're gonna have to build up the scissor combo because my allies are still not strong enough yet. Sifrin's face used to look scared when they got frozen. Now they look like they're just sleeping peacefully. Stay strong, Sifrin. I'm freezing Sifrin. It's such a scam. We breathe in and out. 7,000 XP received. Sifrin is now level 68. Mirabel is now level 48. Isabel is now level 49. And learn the cross skill Break Break. Odal is now level 49. And learn the cross skill Paper Alpha 5. Yeah, I forgot to change everybody's equipped as well. I think I just need to change O dials. Yeah, speed up. Okay. We continue on. Snack time. Okay, I'm reading quickly. And then we talk about death. I don't want to talk about this. Dot dot dot. Oops, that's something new. Oh well, I missed it. Throw my ashes to the sky, cause I'm Stardust. Okay, now I'm locked in. Mad aligns. Pineapple, ew. They said pineapple's good. Probably hasn't healthy for you. But they are very acidic. You want exciting fish head. Okay, their eyes were really gleamy, so they must really like the fish head. Fish heads are yummy, the textures are different and good. Are they? They are. So which snack do you want? I would like not pineapple. I'll fish head. Bonnie hands you the fish head. I have another if someone wants one. The eyes are the best part. You eat the fish head. The taste is familiar to you somehow. Okay, they didn't explicitly say that Bonnie liked the fish head, but they were the most excited. Bonnie seems to be thinking hard about something. We'll save your sister, Bonnie. Huh? Oh. Yeah, I know. 
Okay, so I'll write down fish head, but I'm still not sure. There was no, like, trigger dialogue there. I think there was another sequence where Bonnie said they liked croissants or something, too. We go to the right here first. Ooh, lucky! Is this the person who was missing the earring? No. It was not them. Wait, this is the croissant book. And they're like, fuck it with the Udao. Okay, nothing but the croissants. If Bonnie would have said something essential to the story, they would have included a little anecdote thought bubble at the end, but they didn't. Okay, yeah, either way, we gotta go back to Mirabelle's room. If I was smiling or not. I missed it. Dang it. Hi, Emra. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Still here. <laughs> Dude, this game's never gonna end. We should have played this. This game is a subathon in a in it of itself. Oh my god, this difference so cool. Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Nope, not this door. We go back to the left. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, Cyprin is like, I think it's level 68 now. They're kind of goaded. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> my D pad was glitching. Classic Nintendo. Only book in here is about ceramics. Oh no, it's a picture book. Oh, that was the observatory room. I'm in. Another house maiden. Okay, nothing there. This is Mirabelle's room, so we gotta click on the stack of papers. That's my room. Dresses, books, horror books. dresser. Oh! This is new. Back in Dormont, she's with- Back in Dormont, she seemed worried about whatever was inside, wasn't she? You'd like to look inside, but... Don't even think about it, Sifrin! You step back and smile awkwardly. 
You won't be able to look inside as things are now. Is there something in this room that could distract her somehow? Ooh, okay. We throw the papers up in the air. <laughs> papers filled with complicated equations. Mirabelle's roommate's bed. That's my roommate's bed. Some vials. The closet that has the Baba making tools. We gotta find the things. Chateau Castle is kind of named like Mansion Palace. I think they just did it for the CC copyright and also the alliteration, you know? A barrel with nuts? How do we distract Mirabelle? Rolled up papers. You wonder, you wonder if you'll ever get to wear different clothes again. Why read when you can have people recite things to you? Mirabelle's bed. Is that your bed? Yes, um, what gave it away? It seems fruity, just like your name. Mirabelle Plums! <laughs> My roommate gifted me some Mirabelle Plum scented soap a while back. She may never clean her room and she may keep me from sleeping by muttering formulas to herself in the middle of the night, but she does give great gifts. Oh, I clicked on the dresser again. Mirabelle looks sad. She must be thinking about her roommate. Oh my god, we're a gaslight gatekeep girl boss. You feel bad you feel bad taking advantage of this moment, but you open the drawer. There's some pens, a brooch, anti-anxiety medication, and some papers. Each paper seems to be a file about a different person. Each has a picture of someone, their name, and what seems to be their answers to questions like, where do you imagine yourself in 10 years, and do you want kids? What are those papers? She must have been looking at similar papers in Dormont. Is she choosing one person to do something? Either way, this seems to be what Mirabelle is worried about. You should go and talk to her about it. Now? Mirabelle's dresser, there's important papers inside. Okay, so either way, we're gonna have to reset and talk to Mirabelle again. Maybe she's looking for somebody to date! Sounds like what's in my drawer. Looking at all of, like your Tinder matches. <laughs> also, hi Ryan. Can we get some yo's? Hello. How's the playthrough going? Um, this is technically like my fourth or third time playing through the game. But you know what? I'm pushing through. I'm persevering. Okay. So, I now need to talk to Mirabelle, talk to Oda and the croissant guy back in Dormont, and then now I just have to do the last little food cutscene with Bonnie. And then give the person their earring back. And I think they were on floor three. Uh, this is crafting your body. They've gone woke. Go woke, go broke. <laughs> and this was the secret door, I believe. Yeah, I still don't know the words for this. I think the person who needed the pair earrings is past there. Or right before the king! Damn it! I don't want to fight the king on this specific loop because I'm not leveled up near enough.
easy. When we fight the king, we'll have to teleport to the king fight, because I don't want to level up. I refuse. You breathe in and out. 650 XP received. Maribel is now level 49. I believe this is the sadness. Yes, sir. And I think this was the rock one, so I think we used paper. Creo que sí. Debería usar papel o... Oh, ¿Cómo se dice rock? Is it Roca? It can't be Roca. <laughs> it can't. It resists scissors, so that means it's rock, so we do paper attacks. Yes, sir. Roque? En serio? It's Roque? Roca? Okay, is it really Roca? Jason <laughs> Weasley, where have you been? I don't support Harry Potter, I'm sorry. Or no, JK Rowling, not Harry Potter. Hi Ethan, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. <laughs> My B. <laughs> nah, I was supposed to stream longer yesterday, but my landlord didn't pay the power bill, so I just didn't have power for three hours. I had to take the L. But hi Ethan. Don't worry, you didn't miss much. We're playing the fucking game again. Sue them. Don't we have some lawyers in the chat? I think, Ethan, you said you're going to law school or some shit. Hi, Moon. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. You know, I would only sue if the lawyer charged me one sub. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoever wants to legally represent me, I'll give you one gifted sub. Nah, 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 nah. I think I can progress here. Oh, shoot. I want- uh oh. Ooh, I juked him! Shit. The party who loses pays the lawyer bill. Isn't that, like, standard? Because don't lawyers get money by, like, getting a percentage of the case? Or something? I don't know. I've never had to use a lawyer. And this is why I'm never getting married. I don't want to talk to no lawyer. Holy. You should marry a lawyer? I don't know. Because I'm not like a super assertive type. But I feel like in order to be a lawyer, you would have to be super assertive. And I, I can't, like... I don't want somebody bossing me all the time. That's my job as the woman, you know? <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. You know, when people ask me who wears the jeans, who wears the pants in a relationship, that's me. Clip it? No! Clippers! I'm locked in. I think this was the trap guy. No, it's just one of her lame old friends. When are we gonna tell our friends that we're looping? Fuck. Just- I wanna progress so bad! I don't wanna fight the enemies! You know, it's gotten to a point I've played the game so much, I know where everything fucking is. Wow, 
Watch this. One hit KO incoming. I knew it wasn't gonna happen, but it would have been really sick if it did. To be honest. Sifrin is like 20 levels over everybody else in the party. It's kind of crazy. A bathroom. Okay, let's see what I say here. You close the bathroom stall door and sit on the dirty floor. That's new. We're sitting on the floor now. We're sad. We've hit rock bottom. You breathe out slowly. Okay. So, you're trapped in time, and that's not great. But you have goals you can strive towards, so you're fine. You know what to do. Help your friends, find out more about the loops, talk to the king. As long as you have goals, you'll be fine. Why did you loop back? Why isn't it over? Why did it even start in the first place? It was naive to not even think about why you're even looping. You got the power to help everyone, and you just accepted it? Who did you think you were? The hero of this story? That was silly. If only you used your brain sooner, maybe you wouldn't be in this situation. If only you thought about why you got those powers. If you looked inside the classroom more attentively. If you searched the head house maiden's house better. If you looked closer at the pillar in the death corridor. What are you missing now? That you feel stupid for not seeing earlier. Stupid. But it's fine. You're seeing clearly now. The rain is gone. You won't miss a thing anymore. You'll save everyone, save the guard, and escape from this loop. You will. We're very, like... Self-deprecating right now. Like, we're beating ourselves up. But at least we still, like, know we can do it. You exit the bathroom. Being trapped in time would be sick? I don't think so. I think it would make me sick. It wouldn't be, like, wicked. You know? Why are you always breathing? Honey. You've never had anxiety, have you? Lucky. Now, the first thing they, like, taught me in therapy were breathing exercises. And yeah, they worked, but other grounding techniques worked better for me. Wait, that was me! Okay, that was not there last time. We're, we're bugging. Join them. I'll pray. You wish for rest. Wait, that's so real. A knife! We're back here. I want to talk to the intact statue one more time. We don't have to backtrack that far, it's not that bad. Uh, thank you, Change God. Easy. <laughs> I haven't been anxious in years. <laughs> but now I'm only delusional instead of anxious. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't laugh at that. You know, I like to think of... Okay. It's actually concerning. But, you know, it's good to, like, believe things. And have, like, confidence. And above all else, faith, trust, and pixiness.
Mirabelle's intact statue, the change god. You look at it a little closer. You try not to make a face and fail. Well, then we all make fun of Mirabelle. Is this game a metaphor for mental health? Yes. It's not, like, on the nose, but a lot of, like, the mantras they teach with, like, the breeding. Okay, I need to lock in. Um. And then, like, other grounding methods that they, like, explicitly do as the characters. And then also, like, the themes are very, like, you know, persevere, have goals. They're very, like... Check the statue again? God damn it. Okay, we gotta go do the mini boss and then have our final meal before the king and then we can reset. I'm not annoyed, I'm just like, I wanna progress faster, but I can't. Let me just say. Okay, don't freak out. It's hands, not feet. <laughs> she's like, we can see that guy's little head up top. Sure. <laughs> Sigh. You know, they're probably doing like the downward dog pose. The feet are behind its hands. Then what do we see them in the background? I guess. I don't know. I think you guys are more sus for like wondering where the feetsies are, you know? I think you guys need to do some self-evaluation. Wait, watch this. I'm locking in. Those are foots. <laughs> yeah, feet is a block term in my chat. That's why you can't type feet. A uh, mods banned the word foots, apparently. Okay, foots is blocked now. Easy. You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. You know, it's a good thing that Santa isn't real. Because if he saw y'all's chat logs. Ooh, clean! You guys would never get presents. Okay, I still haven't figured out a way to save the night! Wait, they're like, oh my god, everybody like died because they tried to like protect themselves in the locked rooms. Oh no. Why can't I veg out and like not listen to this? So Santa's not gonna give me Sketch's number in my stocking? I'm sorry. <laughs> not believing in Santa is not very demure. No, I'm just a realist. You know, if Santa was real, I would have gotten, like, winning lottery tickets last year. Wait, didn't I write my Santa's letter on stream last year? Wait, didn't I? I think I did. Then who's at the mall? I'm sorry, it's an old creep. Sorry to burst your bubble. Maybe you just weren't on the nice list? Wait, what? 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 
Monka. Despicable Me 4 or Inside Out 2? Both objectively really visually stunning movies. Despicable Me 4 was... Like, they totally lost the plot. Inside Out 2, I cried two times watching it in the theater. Objectively, Inside Out 2 is better. I- how is that a spoiler saying I cried? That is literally not a spoiler. Decrease enemy speed. Oh, I didn't- shit. Now I know that Riley is gay. It wasn't like... Explicitly said, but dude, the trailers made her seem so gay. <laughs> I'm attacking the hand. What? How is the hand not dead? What? Didn't she go on a date with somebody? Oh, that wasn't an animated short. It wasn't, like, part of the movie. And that was before Inside Out 2 came out. It's still canon. Not in my mind. And she could also be bi. You know, you can't be doing bi erasure in the chat. But you know who might be erased right now? The non- Oops! I'm not in extreme, sorry, that was misclick. <laughs> the non-subs. Because <laughs> guys, we're two hours into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and <laughs> hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available. Please, I need your Primes. It's free, do it. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why this message got modded, Emerald. I think it said creep is a bad word. But I don't know. I, I do agree that like not everybody's a, a creep, but if you're volunteering to have kids sit in your lap, ooh! Probably not a good look. Automods hate to see me typing. Don't get mad at the Automod, get mad at the AI robot that Twitch made. I spilled. We're gonna do re regenerate. Because I forgot to heal with, heal with Mirabelle on their turn. I'm hearing healing Mirabelle first. I don't want to ruin the paper combo. So guarding. The art style looks like 2015. 
You know, I try my best not to make jokes about the art style. Oh my god! Because it kind of feels like old Tumblr. Like, everybody seems to have this style. Like, the kind of fusion between, like, Western illustration styles and, like, anime. But I really like it still. It just feels, like, very familiar. Yeah, the Steven Universe era. Yeah, for sure. It kind of sucks because, like, Steven Universe was just past my time. And I feel like I would have loved that show when I was younger. Watch this. Now on Watch Mojo. <laughs> Holy. I don't think I've ever sat and watched an episode of Steven Universe. Genuinely. It's hard for me to like, sit and watch like cartoon shows anymore. Because now that, you know, like, I have an art degree, all I can think about is, like, oh, how did they render this? How did they draw this? How did they design this character? It's, like, literally all I can think about. I can't, like, enjoy media anymore. I genuinely think that's why I like, like, YouTube videos and streams a lot, because they're usually less produced, and it's more about, like, kind of, like, the substance of what they're doing versus the actual production. Wait. That- wait, that just clicked. I think that's why I like stream content so much. Not to make, but just to consume. Wait. That makes so much sense. Okay, I don't need to heal. It's cause like literally whenever I watch any movie, any TV show that's like professionally produced or made, that's all I can think about. Oh my god, that- I've, I've seen like anecdotal stuff of this too. But, like, if you have, like, a film degree or an art degree, you can't help but to look at how things are made, so it kind of ruins the experience of, like, genuinely enjoying something. Oh my god, that makes so much sense now. Fuck. I'm ruined. AP Lit ruined me! Guys, don't go to school. You get too smart. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> nah, go to school if you feel you need to. It depends on what career you want, honestly. Wait, it's immune? What the fuck? I mean, frick, I need to stop swearing. I was a film major for a while. Wait, he's frozen! I'm sorry, Vic. You said you went to college at 14. Why did you choose to be a film major? That's so cringe. You should have been like an astronaut or some shit. Wait. Somebody look this up right now. I'm gonna give you guys a little task. Who was the youngest astronaut? Like, I know they've sent up, like, cats and dogs and, like, other animals. Have they sent up, like, a baby? Or, like, a kid? They had to have. They had to. Because, like, if we're gonna repopulate Mars... The youngest was 26. We haven't sent a kid up? No, I'm not saying we should. I mean, like, just for science. <laughs> no, that'd be so fucked up. Because, like, no kid could, like, consent to that. Oh my god, Silver is now level 69? Dang, nothing unlocked. Maribel is now level 50. Isabel is now level 50. Odal is now level 50. You'd have to be done growing because you get stunted. Oh yeah, because time is different in space. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Now, I'm not saying we should send up a baby and a toddler. But, like, I, I think we should know, like, what happens, you know what I mean? We, we should send up one of, like, one of the test tube babies. <laughs> Sorry. 
This is gonna come back to haunt me. I was thinking of that scenario, like setting up a pregnant couple. Yeah, like for science. For science. But like how? But like, like if you guys have like played the like the zombie apocalypse games or the nuclear apocalypse games, like growing up in the bunker, it just seems so like sad. But only because we know what life was like before. But if the kid only knows that, then oh well, they only know that. Yeah, I think it would be different if you take like a fully cognitive kid and then put them in an environment that's totally different. I don't know. Um, this is why I went to art school, not like med school. And honestly, a streamer should not be like making policy <laughs> or advocating for like um bad medical experiments. Isn't there somebody in this hallway? I believe. Creo que si. Oh yeah, this person is missing the earring. Can we give him the earring? Mirabelle's roommate. Her eyes are open, resigned. She's holding something tightly in her fist. You kneel down. It's a small vial labeled secret ingredient. Wait, I thought they had the earring! Maybe they would finally start... We need a streamer president. Maybe they would finally stop trying to oppress gamers? You mean, like, having pronouns in games? You think they'll ban that? <laughs> nah, they should give us a 30-hour work week so that way we can have, like, 10 extra hours of gaming. Oh, like, cap game prices? Wait. Didn't Kamala say she's gonna pass, like, no more price gouging? Mmm. Breathe in, breathe out. Stop freaking out. Calm down. Oh, she's crying. Oh, what the fuck? I skipped it. Okay, they said they like the palm ears. I'll take some burnt samosas, please. There you go! Okay, so they kept the samosa for themselves. Yeah. I love samosas a whole, whole, whole lot, but some places make them with cheese in them. Gross. Why would you dirty a perfectly good samosa with cheese? Okay, so they like samosa. Such strong opinions about cheese. Oh, with potatoes. Okay, that is important. Potatoes. It made the samosa with potatoes, no cheese. Got it. Everyone starts eating. You're more of a potatoes and samosas hater, but whatever. Eat around the burnt parts. Okay, in all the previous rooms, I clicked every single food option except for this room. So the reason why I didn't get the samosa dialogue is because I didn't eat samosas before. And then she's like, oh my god, I'm sorry for crying. I'm such a little bitch. Okay, now I need to die. Okay, because at this point, with potatoes, no cheese. Are you lactose intolerant? No. I'm only, I'm only like, half Asian. So like... I'm only, like, half lactose intolerant. Yeah, I'm tolerant. <laughs> so I don't, I don't, like, shit my brains out. 
But, like, if there's a day where I have, like, Alfredo, ice cream, a milkshake, like, every meal having, like, dairy in it, it affects me the next day. But I don't have, like, an instant reaction. My mom is... My mom and dad are both lactose intolerant now, but that's because, dude, my dad, he would drink, no joke, this much milk every day as an adult. So now he can't have much because he had so much to where he kind of made himself intolerant. <clears throat> I would be so sad if I, like, couldn't have milk. Or, sorry, not milk. I love cheese. Okay. I love cheese. Cheese is very good. We're gaming. So, I figured out where I can get Oda's book. We need to talk to the croissant guy. I figured out most of the food that Bonnie likes, which is rice, potentially fish head, and then the samosas with potatoes, no cheese. We also got the papers from... Mirabelle's drawer. So all of the tasks are set up for when I respawn because I have to respawn and do them in Dormont. So this run is now complete. We touched the tier. Dude, imagine how freaked out my friends are when they see that we've gotten this far and then I just die. The tear floats gently. Touch it. Yeah. You had a good sleep. Start again. Still here. Loop number 21. Oh, it's been one, two, three. You just passed your 20th loop. 20. Is that or a lot or too little still? Back to it. Oh, the sun rays are so pretty. What's our next game on stream? Ooh, I don't know yet. Because I have a bunch of, like, one-off games, right? A few, like, uh, challenges and, like, just chatting themes for, like, YouTube videos. But what game, what story game do you guys want to see next? Because I do have... I have Moonlighter. No, I'm not doing Pokemon, sorry. Wait, you guys want to see the games I have? Oh, I wanted to do this one. Ooh, should we do Ace Attorney? I bought the whole collection. It was on sale a few months ago. Because I like doing the voice acting like the story game. Yeah, I have a whole I have a whole bunch of games. It's just like it's just like I have so much shit. Yes, yes, yes. I was waiting for somebody to say no. Dreamtown Island? What is that? Did I do I have that? Dreamtown Island? I don't have that. Oh, and then a lot of these games are also for the nine to five streams, which I haven't done in a while. I really want to do Busta Fellows. I just passed it. Dreamtown Island? Oh, this is like a Cooking Mama knockoff. Oh, it must be further down. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of games. You passed it like 10 times? Am I just stupid? <laughs> Dreamtown Island. What the fuck? Oh, okay, it doesn't have the the name and the thumbnail. <laughs> Gukiyomi is good. Do I have that? See, like, I just buy games when they're on sale. And then I forget about it. Gukiyomi. Okay, if I passed it... Oh, yeah, I can sort by name, huh? My title. That's so smart. Is 
H I J K. Oh, cool! You oh yeah, I played this one. I did the first one on stream a few months ago, and I have to buy the second one. How does your Switch not blow up with this many games downloaded? Um, oh, cause I I download them and then I archive them, so these aren't all on my Switch. Go to P. There's no Pokemon. I sold Pokemon Violet. I'm sorry, not sorry. Okay, our little sidetrack is over. So you guys want to do Ace Attorney next? We can totally do that. Should I get a suit type one? I think I sold Pokemon Snap. Unfortunately. I think I sold it. I dropped a pen. One, 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 one. Okay, if I see a single two, I'm not gonna get a suit. But if I do a suit, we'll have to wait till, like... It gets colder. It's still too hot to wear a suit inside. I can get a suit. I can do it. It'll have to be thrifted, though. And I'll also need 100 subs. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm locked in. Sifrin, you're up. Here again. You like to make sure Maribel doesn't get upset, but is there any way to make this conversation go faster? Something like... We're speedrunning. Hey, Mira, have you thought about doing a sleepover tonight? Oh! I was actually just thinking about it. What do you think? Absolutely, I'll let everyone know. You're right! We don't have a moment to lose! But, wait, do you know where everyone... <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Mira. Okay. You tell Mirabelle about the carrot method so she can learn that one skill. Wait, how do you know about that? And you wink. Okay. You watch her go. Sleepover stream win. You're just admitting that you want to see me, like, in my pajamas. Mods, put a monitoring chat mode on Emerald, please. Thank you. No, I don't think I could ever do a sleepover stream. I think the first, like, sleeping stream I saw was, like, Amaranth's. Not you watching her walk away. Shut up. Shut up. You know what? I'll say it. I think there's nothing wrong with looking. And I'm saying that because I look at people all the time and I feel so guilty. But I never approach anyone, I never flirt, I just look. I, I also don't make it obvious that I'm looking. Also, I think looking is an emo. It is. Okay, I'm deleting that. <laughs> I, I do not want to see my name and that name together in one sentence. <laughs> I do me. Okay, I feel like I should go get the flower and then talk to Bo. We're gonna Riz. Hopefully this is the final loop. I really hope so. Give me a flower. Thank you. I'm crying. Is it because the stream is so entertaining? Guys, nominate Peason underscore 17 for the Streamer Awards 2024 Hidden Gem! We need it. Also, it is in my hashtags because I'm planting seeds. I'm manipulating you guys. Wait, is the flower in my pocket? Oh, we're all holding hands. No, I did not have the flower visible on me. Okay, we're gonna talk to Bonnie. Bonnie is here, looking morosely at the fields. Bonnie. Hey, friend. 
What do you want? Can I help you with anything? Help me? But I don't want your help. I don't want you to help me with anything. You don't? I don't. You're stupid and you don't know me. So I don't want you to help me. I don't know you? You really don't. Not even a little bit. You don't even know my three favorite foods are stupid. Okay. Actually, I do. Huh? You love? Oh, they're trying to trick me. Onigiris, plantain chips, or rice. They said they explicitly like rice. Yeah, that's true, but... And? You said you like fish heads. Even though they liked the Madelines, they were, got really excited about the fish head. You like fish heads? Uh, nope. Fuck! Oops. I don't want you to help me with anything. Ever! You got it wrong. You don't think Bonnie will let you guess again this loop? Fuck! But they got so excited! It had to be the Madelines then. That's so annoying, I have to reset. God damn it. I hope Bonnie likes bananas, because this one's gonna fucking kill me. Okay, good thing I went to fucking Bonnie first. <laughs> That's new. Your living comedy sketch. Start again. You feel like you forgot something. What were you doing during your last loop? Must not have been important. Yeah, because I didn't save because I knew I was going to mess it up. I'm so upset. I'm fine. Yeah, we got a loop on the haters. Then it has to be Madeline's. But they got so excited when they were talking about the fish head. Hey, Bonnie. What do you want? Can I help you with anything? You don't want my help? I actually do know your favorite foods. Huh? You love... Rice. Yeah, that's true, but... And... Madeline's. What? <sighs> they didn't say they liked pineapple! Why doesn't Bonnie like you? You're slipping, yeah, I'm bugging. They literally didn't say they fucking like pineapple. You know why? I probably had to eat the pineapple for Bonnie to say, Oh my god, I love pineapple. You slipped on a banana peel. Start again. At least I know for sure the last one is samosa with potatoes, not cheese. Loop number 25. What a delicious death. Could you imagine if the pineapple option doesn't work? Shut up, do not plant those evil seeds in my head. <laughs> I'm locking in. I cannot let the intrusive thoughts win. Here again. Peace and breathe in and out. Yeah, I'm fine. You guys realize I'm act I'm acting on camera. I'm not actually upset. If I were playing this offline, I would this would be me. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I gotta reset. You know, I don't I don't I'm not this extra when I play games normally. 
You know, I don't want to be known as a cozy str faking a crash out for views. Okay, if I want to be hidden gem this year, we need to pop off with clips, guys. Okay, I'm not gonna mess this up. No, but like, imagine how funny it would be if I accidentally like clicked the wrong option. You know, I think everybody like gives slack to larger creators for clip farming, but it's honestly fine because it's making better content. Why not clip farm? Wait, I, I didn't talk about it. Did you guys watch Ludwig Streamer Games event the Saturday and Sunday? I literally watched almost all of it live. An extra Emily, hard carried. Talk about Dude Dennis and then have him react to it. Is it bad that I don't know who he is? Oh. Here, I'll make chat taller just for you guys. I didn't watch it, but I'll check out the VOD. It was honestly a really good stream. It was like... It's like 15 hours total between the two streams. But really good entertainment throughout the whole event, basically. I really do hope he does have an actual, like, edit, highlight edit. But it'll probably be like a week or two before it comes out, because it's a lot of footage. Okay, I'm locking in. You're stupid and you don't know me, so I don't want you to help me. I don't know you. You really don't! Not even a little bit! You don't even know my three favorite foods, stupid! Okay. I do, actually. Huh? You love... Rice? Yeah, that's true, but... And? Okay, there's no secret fourth option. Pineapples. And the last one is... Samosas. Shocked Pikachu face. But... But, but, which samosas? Yeah, I bet you don't even know that! Which samosas are my favorite, stupid? Is it samosas... Without cheese, but with potatoes? Yeah. That's all my favorite foods. <laughs> Success. If you remembered them all, you... You... Do... Pay attention to me? No, that's stupid. Of course you do. Or else you wouldn't have... There is something you can help me with. Can you come with me? If you have time. Yeah, I have time now. Okay, then come on. Oh my god, secret body cutscene. Bonnie brought you outside of Dormont. You can see some weak sadnesses roaming around in the distance. Oh my god, are we gonna teach Bonnie how to fight? Oh my god. Friend, I... You said I could ask for anything, yeah? A kiss? No, Bonnie's too young. <laughs> They're all teenagers, don't worry. Not exactly what you said, but... Sure, whatever you want. Okay, well, I... I need you to teach me how to fight. Oh. What? I'm making a joke. It's a joke. You got me, officer. I know Dial's gonna say I can help you all in battle tomorrow. But it'll be from far away, right? I want to help. To actually help. And for that, I... I need to learn how to fight. So you're gonna help me. Let's go! Bonnie ran away. Towards the sadness. You run towards Bonnie as fast as you can. Oh, look, look! I'm not scared. Come on. Oh. Yeah, I think Bonnie is like probably like 13, and everybody else is like late teens or early 20s, I think. No, no way, Bonnie's not. I don't know. I don't know. I was obviously joking. Woke mob, don't cancel me. No jokes allowed. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I can do this. I can do this. Oh. 
Bonnie, without thinking about it, you strike. Okay, good one, Sifrin. You breathe in and out. 150 XP received. Uh, uh. You can't help but yell. Be more careful, Bonnie. Uh, uh. I, I'm sorry. You look at Bonnie closely. Miraculously, they don't seem hurt. Bonnie is trembling. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't have yelled. Breathe with me. Mm -mm. You breathe slowly, in and out. Make sure Bonnie breathes with you. You need to calm down, too. Slowly, they stop shaking. Ha. Huh. Hmm. That didn't go super well. It did not, no. It's your fault! You weren't there! You weren't there to help me tell me what to do! Okay, true, we just threw Bonnie into a fight. You frown. I... I mean... I... I'm sorry. I can teach you, but don't go on ahead on your own. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll listen. Tell me how to fight. I want to learn. You look around. There's another sadness in the distance. You put your index finger in front of your mouth to tell Bonnie to stay silent and point towards the sadness. Bonnie looks over and nods. You jump in. Oh yeah, because Bonnie ran up to the enemy. So that's why Sifrin didn't go first. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Yes. What do I do? You smile. Teaching time. You tell Bonnie to look at the Sadness's hands. That's a scissor sign, right? So... So that means they're vulnerable to Rockcraft. Yeah, I know Rockcraft. So I can hit them, right? You know. Okay. Okay, here I go. You take an attacking stance. Bonnie follows suit. Oh, Bonnie's so cute. Yeah! Look at her go! I did it! I did it, friend! You clap. <laughs> you breathe in and out. 150 XP received. Yeah! You defeated the sadness. You breathe out. Bonnie is looking up at you. You look back. Um, hey, friend! Why aren't we allowed to touch you? <laughs> Yo, calm down. What? What? Um, Dial and Za and Bell said we're not allowed to touch you because it makes you jump and because they said so. It's true that you jump, but I was wondering why. Because it means we can't high five or anything. Why? Oh, that's so... Um, I've said this before, but I used to be very touch averse when I was younger. And I didn't, like, understand the impact that a positive cut touch could have. And I remember... I think it was, like, a teacher in high school who, like... It was a woman teacher. Just to clarify. She was like, every kid should try and have, like, five positive touch from pe different people throughout their day. Whether it be, like, parents, siblings, other students, maybe a teacher, like, a high five. Because you don't know, like... How many bad touches they get in a day. And I was like, oh, that's really cute. But yeah, it took a long time for me to like enjoy any type of physical contact. And I know why. But you know, as an adult, I value it a lot now. I'm very touchy. Why? None of them are touching you. On purpose. Because it makes you jump. That's a trauma response. For such a simple reason. I don't mind being touched or hugged. I'm just not used to it. You're not used to it? Oh, maybe it's because you're not ready for when it happens. That's how it is with Niall. Niall? Who's Niall? My sister. Her name's Petra Niall, but it's dumb, so I call her Niall. She doesn't like when people touch her, so she's not ready for it. Niall's really cool and tough, but she gets scared easy, I think. One day I touched her shoulder, and she didn't know what was there. She screamed really loud. Like, oh! 
But then she said I shouldn't do it again because she's scared. She's sc she's scared her brain would take over, and she said she might um suplex me without meaning to. I don't know what suplex means, which sounds really cool. But she said she doesn't want to suplex me because she doesn't want to hurt me. She did suplex one dude who scared her once, though. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to touch her if she doesn't know I'm there. So I always try to walk real loud so she hears me coming. That's why my shoes are so big. See? Bonnie points at her boots. You know. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to talk about my sister anymore. You don't talk about her often. She's frozen in time and she's not here, so I don't want to talk about her. She says talking behind people's backs is bad. And also, talking about her hurts and makes me sad. I want Niall to be here. I should have helped her when... Um, why aren't you used to being touched? <laughs> Dude, Bonnie has no, like, social skills. <laughs> like, it's obvious that something happened to Sifrin, and Bonnie just keeps poking and prodding, metaphorically, about not wanting to be touched. Oh my god, sorry, I just read the line. <laughs> Ooh. Did your family not hug you when you were a kid? Oh, that one hurts. You flinch. I can't remember. Oh. But well, maybe that's why. I'm just not used to it and it takes me off guard, I think. Oh, okay. So, if you can see me and I tell you I'm gonna touch you, it's fine? It, it's not fine, but... Sure. Huh. Okay. I'll remember that. So, then... Bonnie jumps up and down, making sure you watch them do it. I'm gonna touch you now! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Suddenly, Bonnie pokes you hard in the stomach. Ow. You saw me and I told you so it's fine. I guess so. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's fight one more sadness. I can do one more. Okay, just to explain consent. For everybody watching at home. Ask before you touch somebody. That can be holding hands, hugging, hand over the shoulder, any type of touch. Always ask... If you don't know this person as well, obviously if you're in like a longer relationship, whether it's platonic or not, you can kind of pick up on more context clues. But always ask and then wait for them to reply if it's okay. Be like, can I give you a hug? If they say no, you don't hug them. If they say yes, go for it. And that goes for any type of touch for a new person. I can understand if you're like married or dating for years and years, obviously you have different boundaries. But if it's somebody new, please make sure they... Say yes to it first, because consent means asking and receiving permission. Consent does not mean just asking. Okay, lesson over. You spot a sadness in the distance and attack. Ooh, it's a rock type. I'm weak to that. Okay, I can do this. Watch me, friend. You smile and join Bonnie. You and the sadness exchange blows. Ooh, I'm weak. This is different from usual. You're not used to fighting outside anymore. The ground is uneven and there's rocks and branches to worry about. Oh. I missed. You tripped on a branch. Oh, friend! The sadness saw you fall and is running towards you to attack. No! Not this time! <laughs> ah. Ah. You breathe in and out. 150 XP received. Friend! Friend, are you okay? Bonnie is shaking. I'm okay, Bon Bon. I, I just tripped. Uh, really? You promise? You nod. Okay. I... You haven't called me Bon Bon in forever. Only Za calls me that now. Oops. Bonnie. No, no, I, I, I didn't mean... You promise you're okay? You nod. Okay. Sorry. I got scared. It, it just... 
It reminded me of a four, that's all. Before. Yeah. You remember, right? It was a while back. When you protected me from that other sadness, you know. Hmm? What sadness do they mean? You can't remember. Which one? What? Which one? The one that got in your eye, stupid! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ah! Oh, crabby, stupid crabbing! See, I told you! I knew it! You're so crabbing, stupid. I think the sadness took out part of my brain, too, I'll be honest. You didn't even remember it! You think it doesn't matter? You keep getting hurt because I mean you don't care! Oh, that's. No, Bonnie was pushing us away. Oh, that makes sense now. Oh. You can't see from one eye because of me and you think it doesn't crabbing matter? That's right. You'd forgotten. It was after you all met Bonnie, before they started barely speaking to you anymore. They weren't careful and a sadness was about to hurt them. They're so small. No one else was close enough to do anything. You're the fastest. So you ran and got in front of them and... Why did you do it, friend? Why did you do it? Why did you protect me? I don't understand. You could have stayed put. I, I could have... I could have taken care of it. I was fine, but no. Friend thinks they're better than everyone else. And you try to protect me like a stupid, crabby idiot. And you got hurt. Because of me. Because of me, you can't see from one eye. You have a big scar. You bump into things all the time. And you trip all the time. And you can't... You can't see. Because of me. Because of me. Oh. Oh, no. You seem really upset, but... But... It's not that big a deal, though. But it is! It really is! You got hurt because of me and... I don't like it. I don't want it to have happened. You should have stood there and let me be hurt. But you would have died. It doesn't matter! If I died, it would have been fine! It would never have been fine. I could never let that sadness hit you. I know you don't like it when you say you're a child, but you are. And as adults, it's our responsibility to make sure you're safe. Did you want us to go to your sister and tell her sorry? We didn't jump to save them, so they're gone now? you always be more important than any of us. No matter what, you always make sure... You'll... Damn it, I almost did perfect lines in this sequence. No matter what, we'll always make sure you'll live. And I'll always pick you over a blinding, stupid eye. But... Friend, I... I don't... I don't want you to be hurt. I don't want you to be hurt. You can reassure them all you want. Say you're sorry. Promise you'll never do it again. But you would do it again. Again and again and again. If it had happened now, while you're stuck in a time loop, you'd jump in and protect them every time. You would protect them all, every time. Because what's the alternative? Try to find a new way to save them without being hurt? What if you failed? What if you couldn't do it and they could... They did get hurt. But what if you failed? What if you couldn't do it and they did get hurt instead? What if they died because you tried to get a better ending? Oh! Well, they kind of did several times. You can't take that chance. You would do it again the exact same way for as long as needed. I'm stronger now, Bonnie. I can protect you and make sure I don't get hurt either. You promise? You promise you won't get hurt again? I promise. You super promise? I super promise. You super duper promise? I, I super duper promise, Bonnie. Okay. Okay! As long as you promise, it's fine. And... And... Oh. And anyway, I protected you just now, right? If it wasn't for me, you'd have been hurt. So, so you can protect me, and I can protect you, and we can protect everyone, too. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you, you see me, right? I'm gonna touch you now. <laughs> Dude, Bonnie. Aww. Bonnie runs to your side. They hug you tightly. You freeze until you remember what to do. Aww. Slowly... You hug them back. <laughs> 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 
See? You do know how to hug. It uh, looks like I do, yeah? <laughs> you got a memory of training. You'll always remember this. When memory of training is equipped, your kid will never miss when attacking. Yo! Your kid also learned the skill, Billion Blows Technique. They'll be able to hit the enemy harder during battle. It's so strong, you'll be able to use it when you and your kid have this exact conversation. So if you loop back to Dormont, you'll have to talk to them all over again. Remember that, okay? I want this to be my last loop. Okay, let's go back to Dormont! I'm gonna show everyone how cool I am now! You nod. You both head back to Dormont. That was cute. I'm glad we're friends now. Oh, Bonnie's gone. Okay. Cool. Let's talk to Mirabelle next. Mirabelle is here, sitting on a bench and looking at papers. Hi, Cyprin. Do you need anything? Oh, that's weird. So, which one will you choose? Huh? Sorry. You pointed her pile of papers. What? What? How? What do you know? Answer me! Caught. She has her hand on her rapier. You're choosing someone for something, right? It seems important. Maybe I can help? Hmm. I... I suppose you must have more experience than I do. All right. I would like your help if you'll give it. Experience? Uh, sure. Thank you, Sifrin. But, um, this might take some time. So, make sure you have time. I got lots of time just for you, Bonnie. Or no, not Bonnie. Uh, Mirabelle. Oh, okay. Okay, how to do this? Sit down next to me, maybe? Boys, we're in. You sit down. Mirabelle looks at you without saying a word. She looks worried. Maybe you should take the lead. So, what are those papers, really? Oh, um... Bonding proposals? Oh my god. Bonding? Like, when you promise to stay with someone forever? Is Mirabelle looking for a partner? No, wait, that's not exactly it. Please stop looking at me. It, it's more like, um, dating? Dating profiles. Oh my god, we were literally joking about it being Tinder. I thought this was going to be like she's choosing, like, a battle partner. Or, like, the strongest person to go with her to the fight. Dude, she's literally looking for uh, a spouse. She's got love on the brain! It, it, it's more like, um, dating? Dating profiles! I'm not thinking about being bonded yet! Dating? You didn't think Maribel cared about that. You're still confused. Alright, well... Before this all started with the king, I decided I wanted to, um, try to date someone! And so I asked a dating company, and they gave me a bunch of folders of people that I could meet, and that I could date, but I haven't gone through it yet, so I figured I could at least get that done today, and look through all of them and make a list of people I could see myself dating. And? I suppose I need help? I'm choosing someone I can spend the rest of my life with. Girl, it's dating. It's not forever. You can, like, mess around a little bit. So, I'd appreciate another pair of eyes, or- oh wait, you just have one eye. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, just the one eye? As long as it's not my two eyes looking at this. Um, and I also need a distraction from tomorrow very badly. So I figured I'd replace my anxiety about our possible defeat with, um, this. Oh. Huh. Choosing someone today is a little out of your comfort zone. 
But you think you can try and find someone who would fit Mirabelle? Maybe. Let's have a look then. All right! I have a few profiles right here. She moves an immense folder out of her dress pocket. Was she carrying it with her throughout your entire journey? Here's a few of them. So, um, we can... You can go first. And tell me what you think. And I'll go after. Um, so, well... Tell me what you think about him. She shows you the file of a strong, buff-looking man. Is that Mirabelle's type? We have one of those at home? Yo! No, we're trying to smash bows, so no. <sighs> Looks don't mean everything, but it, if Mirabelle is dating, you know, might as well, like, try it out. He looks nice. He does, I suppose. She supposes. By the way, sounds like masculine people aren't her type. Probably. Maybe she would like someone more feminine? Do you have someone more feminine looking? Um... She looks through her files. How about her? She shows you the profile of a gentle looking lady. She looks like you? I'll say that, why not? I don't want to say that she looks nice again. She looks like you. Ew, you're right. <laughs> Is that worth an ew? So, well, not into feminine people either, apparently. Wait, is she ace? We do need more representation. What kind of person are you into, Bo Bonnie? Or sorry, Mirabelle. <laughs> oh, I don't have a type. I like all kinds of people equally. Wait, that's so real. But if you had to choose? Uh, um, someone nice? You nod. And someone pretty? You nod. And someone who likes me? You don't nod. Mira. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let me think a bit more. I want someone who... She thinks for an awfully long time. Well, what about you then? What kind of person are you into, Sifrin? Well, you think about how to answer this from an awfully long time, but then catch yourself. Wait. Are you just gonna copy my answers? What's it called when you're like only emotionally attracted for someone in order to be sexually attracted? I do have LGBTQIA tagged. Is it Demi? It, it is Demi, isn't it? Because there's hetero, homo, bi. What's it called when you're attracted to like everybody no matter? Pan. Pan is what I was thinking, but I think it's Demi. I think because Pan is when you're attracted to anybody no matter their identity. And then Demi is when you're attracted to them if you're emotionally attracted first and then you're like more down to be to do intimate stuff. I think Demi is the right word. Thank you. You guys were both like on it though. And also when I said Demi first, I did not read chat. I just happened to like open my eyes at the same time. Wait, are you just gonna copy my answers? No? Caught. Okay, fine. You got me, Sifrin. I'm not interested in that dating stuff. Oh, that makes sense. But then why? So then why worry about it? Society. You know, Sifrin, the change belief is very, very important to me. It's all around changing. Changing with a capital C. Bettering yourself. Becoming a better, different person. And one of the ways to change is to try new things, you know? That's part of the reason the house offers so many different classes. <laughs> and so, um, so I'm trying. I'm trying new things. And some are fun and fulfilling and easy, but you can't just go and only try new easy things, can you? Sometimes I have to try scary new things. Things that make me uncomfortable. The things I don't want to do at all. 
things she doesn't want to do? Like dating? Yes, like dating. But, but you know, romantic love is one of the biggest ways to change. It's supposed to change you to bring you new experiences and... And so... I have to do it, right? To be a good housemaid and I have to do it. I have to date. I have to love someone in a romantic way. I have to... Do things with them. For lunch? I have to bond with them. I have to sleep with them. Yo! <laughs> Yo! I have to have children with them. I have to love them in this very specific way. And... And... And you don't want to. You don't have to. Society sucks, man. Also, it's fucking expensive to have a kid nowadays. You know what else is, like, expensive but not really? A subscription. Because, guys, we're three hours in the stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. That was clean. That was a clean transition. So if you want to avoid the ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $5.99. Just $6! Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long. Or... You can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Guys, click subscribe right now. See if you got a sub available and use it on the Peace and Channel. Get boomed. I kind of want I kind of want to put my hair up, but I don't want to. It's like bugging me, but not. I'll leave it down for another hour. Smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover. That's the only words I know from that song. Is it bad that I like, don't like K-pop? It's not that I don't like it. It's just not my favorite. I like Korean soul. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Smooth like butter. And, and I don't want to. I don't want to do it, Sifrin. Not at all. Dating, the idea of being in a romantic relationship, of being with someone like that. I hate thinking about it. I hate the idea of it. I really do. The idea of it alone is just awful for me to think about. I can't love someone like that in the way I should love them. It never happened, and I don't think it ever will. And I... I need this to change, don't I? Oh. Well, on the stars, this is heavy. You're not sure what to say. Maybe... Maybe. Well, um... Why do you need to change? Because I have to, Sifrin! I'm a housemaiden, and I love it! I love helping people! Getting to know them, I love learning new things, I love it all, but... But I have to change in that way, too. I wish I could... Just not do it. Not be with someone that way. But Sifrin... There is such a pressure to force us to do that. And not only that, there's such immense pressure to force us to change. We have yearly festivals, all around showing yourself as a new person, for crap's sake. Most housemaidens have completely changed at least once, and I haven't. Isabel isn't even a housemaid, and he's changed. And I haven't. And I don't... I don't want to change. I'm happy with who I am. I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm comfortable with the idea of not being with anyone. I'm comfortable with the idea of staying the same forever. But we have to change and bring new things into our lives and change clothes and hairstyles and even part of our personalities to appeal to a deity that... that... that I don't know if they understand that sometimes. I just like to stay the same. Or maybe they do. Wait, is Mirabelle, like, anti-woke? She's like, I don't want the world to change. <laughs> I don't want to transition. <laughs> or maybe they do. Maybe that's why they haven't. And now, I have a list of people that I could meet that I can tell that I can fall. Okay. And now, I have a list of people that I could meet so that I can fall in love with them, which I can't do. A and do things with them, which I will never ever want to do. Also, I can change. And it makes me feel like a mistake. Aww. That I must be broken for not being able to want these things. Because everyone else can. 
It's not just you, there's a lot of people who are ace or aromantic. It's just not talked about often. Well, I don't know about the romantic part. But I don't want to do things with people either. Huh? Why not? It's weird, right? Wait, so we're not trying to smash Bo? <laughs> yes? Mirabelle takes hold of your hands. You jump a little, but she doesn't seem to notice. Yeah! Yeah. It's just weird! And gross! It's awful! I don't want it at all! Oh, Sifrin, Sifrin! You mean it? You really mean it? You understand me? Yeah, of course. <laughs> huh. What a relief. To have someone who understands this, at least. But it doesn't fix anything. I need to change. And dating? It's part of it, so... Mirabelle sighs. Sifrin, I know you don't follow the change belief, but... Do you have something like this? Something that brings you joy and community and faith? But some other parts you don't know how to follow? Some other parts you don't know what to do with? Some other parts just bring you grief? Something that brings you both joy and grief? My chat! <laughs> you think about the stars. It's more complicated than that for me, but... Yeah, I do have something like that. So you do too! How... How do you deal with it then? <laughs> you don't. I just try not to think about things that bother me in general. <laughs> Avoidance, huh? That feels... A little too cowardly for me. Oh! Ouch. I... I mean... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. You laugh. You know she didn't mean it that way. Of course not. You didn't know Mirabel held these feelings towards the change belief. She always seems so passionate about it. But the belief she loves so much is also the same belief that forces her into a box she doesn't want to be in. Why doesn't she leave it behind then? It's so hard and damaging. Because in general, religious faiths are where a lot of people get community, where a lot of people get resources like food or shelter at times. You also have it in like your weekly or bi-weekly schedule, so it's part of your routine. You're seeing the same people whenever you do congregate, so you make friends, family friends. Also, there is a lot of shame when you leave congregations. And I was in my opinion, lucky. My mom was raised religious, my dad went to church sometimes. They're both different faiths, but they decided together that they would not force us to go to churches when we were growing up, because they wanted us to form our own moral compass, and obviously listen to what they say. But they never wanted us to feel the pressure that comes with following a, a faith, which I think is good. But obviously, if you grow up in a faith, do what you want to do when you're older. Obviously, you have to follow your parents' guidance or your guardian's guidance. But don't ever let yourself be held back because of a belief. Because more often than not, it's meant for general people, not for individuals. So, I know a lot of people say just leave, just leave. But leaving anything behind is hard. You just have to seriously consider what would be the best for you in the present, short-term future, and long-term future. Why doesn't it she leave it behind them? You suppose it's not that simple. I don't know anything about your belief, but... You could always game the system, right? Game the system? change things by deciding not to change, right? I literally was gonna say that earlier. If everyone changes in that way, then you'll change by not changing in that way, right? There's more than one way to become a better person, right? Changing by deciding not to change? Sifrin, <laughs> that's not how it works. Damn it. 
But no one needs to know. <laughs> huh. Change myself. By deciding not to change. Sounds challenging and fun to me. Right now, you mean it. It does. It does sound challenging and fun. Mirabel smiles at you brightly. You smile back. Thank you, Sifrin. Thank you for talking with me. Oh, look at the time. You probably have other things to do, didn't you? Go, go, don't let me keep you. I need to be alone for a little bit. I have a lot to think about. I'll see you later, okay? You got a memory of faith. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of faith boosts all your housemated stats by 30. 30? Wow. Your housemaiden also learned the skill, Holy Care Shield. Holy Care Shield is amazingly strong. When used, it creates a shield that makes everyone invulnerable to attacks for one turn. Yo. It's so strong, you'll only be able to use it when you when you and your housemate have this exact conversation. So if you loop back to Dormont, you'll have to talk to her all over again. Remember that, okay? You nod to Mirabelle. You wave goodbye. Oh, she's gone. Damn. Now the game is getting deep, ain't it? Okay, let's go to the croissant guy. Then we'll talk to Odal. Give me the book, sir. Wait, I just realized. I cannot move back straight to the king. I have to go through all three floors in order for the characters to currently remember everything we just talked about. Oh no. I have to do everything again? Because if I loop back to the king, like if I die here, I do all the dialogue, and I loop back to the king, they aren't gonna know those skills because the save point in the future doesn't have it, so I'm gonna have to do everything again. Oh my god. Give me the book, sir. Okay, I, I guess I have to talk to Odal first, possibly? Whatever. This is aggravating. Pure agony. Can I help you with anything? Do I need help with anything? Are you this bored, Sifrin? What else seems to realize you're genuinely asking? Ah, well... I'm looking for a book. Oh, right here. Oh, I've heard the Belangerie has one of those. What? 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 Huh? Really? She doesn't seem to know how to react. You look at her to repeat the same words over and over. Sifrin, will you come with me to ask them if I can borrow it? It might take some time, so make sure you have time to help me. Yeah, right now, let's go. Thank you. Let's go, then. You and Odell are now hanging out. You should head to the Boulanger. Boulangerie. I always say something different. Oh my god, are we on a date? A friend date, of course. Hey there. Hello. 
We've heard you may have a family too. A family too. Of a family called Paperaz. If you'd be okay with it, I'd like to borrow it for a little bit. Ah, oh, the one I borrowed from my girl before the house froze. I'm not a very good writer. <laughs> so I figured reading one would give some, me some inspiration for stories to tell my little girl. Do you have it still? I... Please tell me, sir. Do not. What? Do you know Antone? Antony, maybe. He lives at the east of town, in the house with no flowers. Asked if he could borrow it. They know the Paperas family, you see. I couldn't really refuse. The Paperas family died only a few years back, after all. Well, that sucks. Do you know if he still has it now? I don't see why they wouldn't. I have a sudden bad feeling about this. The house to the east of the village, with no flowers, huh? Looks like we should go pay them a visit. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Bombados. Everybody, let's go. Wait, can I fish now? Wait, now that I have- oh, I think Oda will read the fishing book. Oh, what a previous timeline. I'm fishing. I see that. Caught anything recently? <laughs> maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Thanks. That was very helpful. Okay, I guess we can't fish with Odile. I need the house with no flowers. House with no flowers. Wait, did I go in this place before? Oh yeah, I have. It's the beautiful woman. Beautiful one. Oh! Hello! Antony, isn't it? That sure is me. And you're the two- and you're two of the saviors, aren't you? Thank you for all you're doing. Best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you. We have a favor to ask. Who do you borrow the family tale you possess? For an hour, maybe? Oh. The paperous family tale? Awkward. I know this means a lot to you, so... Oh, no, that's not the problem. I'd be happy to lend it to you, but, well... I think one of the kids next door stole it from me. What? What? Oh, I I'm not saying they're bad kids. They're very nice kids. Very nice. They just, well... You know, the three kids outside. A few weeks ago, they passed by to help me cook some things, and, well... The book is gone now. So... Sounds like we should talk to those kids. This is feeling like a real RPG now, isn't it? Dang, kids. We'll get that book, Odile. Don't worry. Huh. Let's just go, alright? Blasted kids. Kids? The middle kid with a small hand looks at you from the rock throne. Adults? What do you want? Sifrin? You handle this. Uh, why you? Why me? You're closer to being a kid than I am. Good luck. Okay. Okay, we don't want to confront them. Do you guys know about family tales? Yeah. What kind of adult doesn't know about family tales? Are you stupid? Man, and you can't ask adults if they're stupid. Can't I? Look at them. They're short, and their hat looks unbrushed. And they look like they haven't slept in weeks. And that hat definitely looks stupid and not cool. Sifrin, the kid is destroying you. Do something. On principle, you don't get into fight with kids. What's saying? <laughs> anyway, do you know about a about a paper raz fairy tale? Ah, man, and I think he's asking about. Shut up! I got this. The middle kid looks at you as disdainfully as they can, which is a lot. What if we do? We would like to borrow it. Trade. A trade, a trade! We have something you do not. Knowledge. Offer us something in exchange. Um. I do have the flower. Because nobody else had the flower dialogue. I have a flower. 
No, you don't. Oh, I didn't grab the flower. Oh, you don't actually have any on you with this loop. Oops. Um... I have a silver coin. Two silver coins. You sadly show the single coin you have in your possession. What kind of adult only has one coin? Are you broke? Denied. Ugh. Here, have five. Yo! Ten silver coins. Four. And I won't tell your guardians that you stole a book. Um, yeah, okay, deal. Um, okay, so I... Man, it doesn't have the book anymore. What? Listen, Charlene was being really annoying about wanting it, so I gave it to her so she stopped crying, okay? Who is Charlene? Um, Charlene Croquette? The Bollinger's daughter. <laughs> we were just there. The what? <laughs> you can't help but laugh. Hey, look at the old lady's face. Suffering. You jump. We are going. You nod rapidly and fall. Bye, adults. Let's play again soon. Okay, I guess I should grab the flower now before I forget. Like, for real, for real, on God, on God. Oh. There's no need to go here right now, is there? True. Fine. Back to the bakery. Oh, Mirabelle's back here. Can I talk to her? Oh, hi, Cyprian, Madam Odile. On a secret quest again? Again, huh? Oh, sorry. I feel like... I've seen you two go on a secret quest very often. Like, literally every time we stayed in a town or village. Isabel and I always wondered where you were going. Wow, that's right. You and Odell often visited. You and Odell often used to visit antique shops every time you were in a new place. Neither of you ever asked what the other was looking for. They are not smashing. We're trying to smash Boo. I'm deleting that because I don't want that on my screen. Come to think of it, she was probably looking for a family tale. Are you two betting on it? On what our secret quests are about? Oh, I would never bet on anything. It goes against my moral code, madame. But Isabel will read a horror book of my choice if my guess is right. <laughs> oh no, you're not going to tell me what your secret quests were about now that I've said we're betting on it. We'll see you later, Maribel. No! No, come back! Got him. Okay, let's see if Bonnie's back. Oh, hey, Dial. Boniface. Did you find some good stuff for tonight? Not much. I did find some flour, though. I know we were running low. Yes! Why are you with Frin? Was the flour too heavy? I could have helped. Sifrin and I have things to do. Oh. Can I help? I want to help. We're looking for a book with words in it. No pictures. I'm so sorry I cannot help, Dial. I wish you the best in all future and divers. I will stay here and also do my important things. Like, look at this field. Thank you for your support, Boniface. Okay, before we go to the bakery, let's talk to... Bo. Oh, Bo is not here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Bo is still here. Good. I kind of want to talk to the elderly person. Hello. Hello. Nice to talk to you. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, that was great. Ho oh, ho! You guys look thick as thieves as usual. Are you on a secret quest again? Indeed we are. Good for you. Nothing like a secret quest to make life worth living. Ah, I'm so jealous. I'd love to go on a secret quest too. Let's go on a secret quest before we part ways, yeah? Oh, I'd love to. A secret quest with you could be fun, Isabel. Huh? Oh. With you, Madame Odile. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I meant. I definitely meant going on a secret quest with you. 
Because you are also standing right here. Yes. Got him. I mean, my hat is so big, that's why he couldn't see Odile. Please don't look at me. Uh-huh. Got him. It's cute how there's new dialogue now. Back to the bakery, sad. Still here. Hi. Hello. Oh, oh. Hey. Please do not scare my daughter, madam. Uh. You get in front of Odile and smile at the girl. Hi. Hi. We've heard you got a cool book. A book? Oh! Oh, 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 yeah. From Madden. Madden is so nice. She gave me the book. The book with the nice stories. Dad was reading it, now it's mine, and I can read it all by myself. But it's boring. I want another book, Papa. Wait, which book are you talking about, Charlene? This one! She shows you the book with... She shows you all a book with a Pepperos family tale written across it. It was here all along. I'm so sorry. It's fine. You got the Pepperos family tale. Finally. You both find a nice, silent place to talk. Huh. I can't believe this took this long. But... Finally. Oda looks at the closed family tale book intently. Aren't you gonna read it? They said I could keep it until they have to leave Dormont, so I have time, but... She's still looking at it. The family tale book you spent so much time trying to find. It seems important to her, but why? Is it related to your research? Sorry, what? The book, is it related to your research? Ah. Hmm. Well, I suppose I've kept it secret long enough. Don't tell Isabel, all right? There is no research. I'm not researching anything. What? Sorry for not saying anything. Isabel said I must be researching something, since I was a traveler here in Vigard. And it felt easier to not say anything. So then, why are you... Why did I leave Kabul? Travel for years? All to find myself in Vigard, if not for some intellectual pursuit. They're a criminal. Hmm. Well, I'm actually here in Vigard to find out more about myself. I suppose it's not very apparent to you, but my mother was Vigardian. Oh. I've lived my whole life in Kabu. My father was Kabu and my mother Vigardian. I have no idea how they met. He never told me, but all I know is that she never wanted a child. Oh. She left very early in my childhood, and I never saw her again. Good riddance, if you ask me. But she left, and didn't leave anything behind. No pictures, no letter, no family history. Oh. But what does it matter, right? My father was a good man, and Kabu was my home. I used to think I didn't need... I used to think I didn't need to know about my history, about the god. But still... A part of me was... curious. And one day, a few years ago, a Vigardian merchant showed up... showed me. And one day, a few years ago, a Vigardian merchant showed me her wares, and this book that she wouldn't let go of, a book of tales written by her whole family, a fairy tale. And she explained fairy tales to me. Generations of Vigardian parents writing stories for their children and writing them down in a book. So you end up with stories written by an entire lineage. And she was explaining the way the book was written, the rules of this particular way of telling stories, how friendly families share their stories with each other, and how it had been gone for or done. And how it had been done for generations, how it brought her close to her family, her ancestors, her culture. And while she was explaining all this to me, she suddenly stopped. And I was surprised to find out she stopped because she was crying, or because I was crying. Oda was crying, me. I didn't even realize it, because I wanted this. 
This connection that she had to a history that was also supposed to be mine. But it was stolen from me because my mother left. And I'd never have a link to this culture ever unless I was there. Damn, everybody's got issues. So this is why. Hmm. So I traveled to Vagar, and well, the king took over shortly after I arrived, which did make things more difficult. And during my travels with you all, I got to know more Vagardians and see many Vagardian cities. I got to learn more about the country, its culture, its faith, its people, and and I look and I learn and. This is the country my mother came from. It's half of me, but... But still. Even now that I'm here in Vagard, I feel no connection to it whatsoever. I don't recognize myself here. Isn't that strange? Half of me should be from here, isn't it? Shouldn't I see something of myself here? In the place that my mother came from? Shouldn't it be like looking in a mirror? Like a revelation? Shouldn't I see how Vagardian people act, how they think? And be able to say, ah, so this is why I'm like this. Shouldn't I be able to call this place mine? But I can't. And it feels awful, like... Like my roots have been cut off without my consent. Like my mother stole it from me. Like I really don't belong anywhere. But... This is why I'm here, still. Wait, this is literally like how... All second gen... Immigrants feel. To know as much as I can about this country, and in the meantime, find out... And... I'm bugging. To know as much as I can about this country, and in the meantime, find out if it'll make me find out more about myself. And I did find out more about myself during this journey, so I'm glad. It is an interesting question, is it not? How much do you carry of your country? Of a culture that should have been yours, but wasn't? It may not seem so to you. To Kabu, my features are foreign. Just small things. My hair being slightly too thick, my brows too thin. Enough for me to look different here. I am other. So. What about the Guardians? Would they see me as one of theirs? Would I find myself in them? After coming here, I found out that no. Of course not. Why would I? I've never been here before this journey. But at the same time, I'm not the only one who is other. In fact, Vagard is filled with people who also come from other lands. Vagard woke with people from all over the world, after all. So, even if I did not find someone like me, I found Vagard to be full of people that are similar to me. And I'm very grateful for that. Odile is half Vagardian. <laughs> yeah, L <El> xenophobia. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that. Just seeing like L next to xenophobia is really funny. I don't want to see no W xenophobias in the chat, please. Okay, this has been a lot of talking, a lot of yapping. <laughs> you never knew. She traveled halfway across the world to find out more about herself. Trying to see if she'd find herself in a country she has no memory of. What about you, Cyprin? Are you finding out more about yourself in Vagard? Huh? Well, what do you mean? Well, you didn't grow up in Vagard either, right? Do you have roots here? Or were you just passing through? Huh. Hmm, my apologies. Forget I asked. I didn't say anything. You didn't need to. Your face said it all. Just because I'm telling you personal facts about myself, doesn't mean you need to tell me anything in return. It was wrong of me to ask. Wait, Odell is so mature. We can forget about it. She goes back to looking at the family tale's cover. She'd probably, she'd probably be fine leaving it here, just bearing your story to you and nothing else, but... But you... I... I'm an alien. I don't remember much about where I'm from. Odal turns to look at you. Huh. 
Were you too small when you left, or was it because there was nothing worth remembering? Everything was worth remembering. Neither. But I can relate to you. Trying to find pieces of yourself wherever you can. Trying to find where you belong. Trying to find how your roots might have shaped you. Which parts of you were created and which parts already were. You're not. But you know you're not only made of where you're from, right? If that was the case, everyone in Kabu would be the exact same. And everyone in Vagard would be the exact same. Where you're from matters, yes. But it's not the only thing that makes you, you. That's what I realized during this journey, Sifrin. I'm Kabu and a Vagarian, in ways I do and don't realize. And I'm also myself. One might say there's more... One might say that's more important than being Kabu and a Vagarian, wouldn't you agree? I do. Huh. Huh. <laughs> that's interesting. I feel so much lighter now. Hmm? Because you found a family tale? Yo. Yes, and also because we talked, Sifrin. Oh. Huh. Huh. Thank you for listening to me, Sifrin. You blush and nod. We're both blushing! Now get out of here. I have a family tale to read before we all meet our sleepover. We'll talk later. Go have fun. But what else smiles at you mischievously? You got a memory of Secret Quest. You always remember this. When equipped, Memory of Secret Quest boosts all your researcher's stats by 30. Wow. Your researcher also learned the skill Craft Break Alpha. Craft Break is amazingly strong. When used, it makes the enemy weaker to all craft types for a few turns. It's so strong. You'll only be able to use it when you and your researcher have had this exact conversation. So if you loop back to Dormont, you'll have to talk to her all over again. Remember that, okay? Oh wait, loop back to Dormont, not loop in general? Wait. You get up and leave, waving goodbye. Where even was that in town? Okay, well... We've talked to everybody, we've done everybody else's tasks, now we can- Where's Bo? No, where's Bo? First I should get the flower, and then we'll get the flower to Bo. W. Flower has been retrieved. Bo is here. Isabeau is here, probably pondering what favorite ass the tree. Hey, Issa. Sue. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed? I get it. Anyway, I was just looking at the favorite tree. Isn't that tree cool? Cute job. Yeah, it is. I'm <laughs> glad you agree. One could say it's a pretty... Uh-huh. Tremendous tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes! You both laugh. Laughing uproariously, he raises his hand towards his shoulder. You watch his hand get closer to you again. Maybe this time... Closer? Closer. His hand abruptly stops above your shoulder and goes back to his side. Ha! <laughs> ha! That was funny. I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree, but do you want to talk before I go? Oh, uh, yeah. Here's a flower for you, Bo! What? A, a flower? For me. You're the only one here, Essa. Ha ha! Yeah. Isabel takes the flower and cradles it gently in his hands. Thanks, Sif. I... I'll treasure it forever. He seems happy. 
W Riz. Hey, I finished helping everyone else out. Huh? Oh, that's cool! I did see you running around with everybody else earlier. It looked like fun. Oh, that's right. You didn't ask him if he needed any help this loop. No. Well. So, do you need help with anything, Bo? Help? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Yes, I do need help with something now that I'm thinking about it. Is that what you were doing today? Helping everyone out? I didn't know. I kept the best one for last. Aw, <laughs> oh, Sif. I'm glad. I was just thinking I wanted to hang out with her today. Ch ch j ch j I was just thinking I wanted to hang out with you today since I saw you running around with everybody. Everyone. Everyone. I struggle with talking. But you didn't talk to me today, so I was um, worried you didn't want to. It, it doesn't matter, though. I'm glad I thought about what we could do today, then. Um, are you ready now? We'll probably have to go to the clock tower immediately after we're done, so I don't think you'll have time to do anything in the village after, so... I want to make sure you... So I want to make sure you did everything you needed to. Uh, give me a second, Bo. Sure, Sif. In the meantime, I'll let you do your thing here, and I'll wait for you at North of Dormont, okay? Okay. Um, we should talk to Lou. And then we need to get the little drawing. Hey, Stardust. How can I help you this wonderful new Lou? I have a question about... I've been seeing myself in the house. Yourself? Like how? You tell Loop about how you saw yourself walking around the house a few times. An image of yourself walking around the house. Maybe they're reflections. Remnants of your past loops. I wouldn't know. Remnants? Odell used the same word to describe the sadnesses. Could it be a sadness? Wait, am I turning into a sadness? Huh. You see a copy of you walking around and you assume it's a sadness. Are you sad, Stardust? I'm gonna go ahead and say they're linked to your loops. If they are, you might see them more and more as you loop through time. Okay. The sadnesses are different. Hmm, I've noticed. They don't always appear at the floor where they should be, right? This didn't happen before I beat the king. They did not. Is it because you beat the king? Is it related? No theories? None. But hey, variety is the spice of life, isn't it? Teehee. Okay, so just different enemies, that's cool. Do you know how to fix a knife? Oh. Are you thinking about fixing up the key knife? Smart. I mean, don't you sharpen your own dagger? How do you do it? A sharpening stone? And? Where is it? I forgot. But then you don't have yours, huh? Just find one somewhere else. Hmm. Okay, that's the same thing as last time. At the end, Isabeau. I checked Reddit. And people are saying they finished between 70 and 130 loops? I'm on loop 25, bro! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Well, I'm gonna be speedrunning, so don't worry. I've also- I beat the king on my second try. You know, I feel like a lot of people's loops were from the king. I'm just goaded. At the end, Isabeau. Ah, the thing he said he'd tell you at the end of your journey. He mentions he wants to tell you something. When you go to sleep at the clock tower, that's probably it. But someone interrupted him just as he was about to tell you. How unfortunate. If only there were to... If only there was a way to make sure he wouldn't get interrupted. Maybe you'd finally get to hear what he has to say. If you talked to Bonnie beforehand, maybe. 
talked to Bonnie beforehand? What? Mirabel statue. Oh. Okay, I think I saw this one already. Yeah, look at the... Oh, wait, I can probably talk to the statue again now that I learned more about Mirabelle. See you later, Stardust. But in the final sequence, I already, I already talked to Bo last. <sighs> don't worry, one person said 38 loops. Okay, don't worry, we're speedrunning. Okay, I got it. I gotta get the drawing. Because I might have to start... I might have to go through the whole game again. Honestly, it's kind of cool that the kid whipped this out that quickly. And I think there's also a pendant here. Teardrop necklace. Okay, no secret item there I thought there was. Now we talk to Bo, my lover. I mean, future lover. Let's talk to the elderly person. Horrifying, isn't it? Our beautiful house of change. Warped into such a terrible shape. The king waits inside. Waits for the entire country to finally be frozen in time. I shall pray for your victory tomorrow. You suppose the king will have to wait a little longer? Okay, nothing new there. Isabeau is here, looking towards the house. Hi again, Siv. What's up? I finished helping everyone out. Ha, <laughs> okay. Well, um, follow me, Sif. You follow Isabeau around for a while, going through Dormont and the forest until... A field? There's nothing around. What could he possibly need? A kiss! So, what do you need me to do? Huh? Oh, um... <laughs> Lay down with me? Yo! He's looking at us! You lay down. And then? And then... Look up? You look up. Stars, 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 all around you. You inhale sharply. You know, when you asked me if I needed help earlier, I wasn't sure what to say. I don't really need help with anything. And I did all I needed to prepare for tomorrow and stuff. But I saw you run around and help everyone today, and that seemed kind of fun. And so I thought, Sif's making sure to help everyone today, but I just want to hang out with him. And so, um, that's it. That's all I want you to do today. Let's just hang. Oh. Oh. Why stars? Oh, um, so, you know how you say this word when you're annoyed or something bad happens? 
I don't know what language it is, but I always thought it was like a swear word. Like, crap. And I looked in a few books, but I couldn't find the word anywhere and I got really curious. And one day I heard someone else say it. So I asked them and they said I mean... And I said I mean... And they, you're a boy, yeah, Sifrin is a... Boy. So they're gay lovers. I mean, future lovers. And one day I heard someone else say it, so I asked them and they said I mean stars. And I noticed you know stuff about the sky. You talked about planets once in the sun, like you really knew what you were talking about. And sometimes, when you slept outside, you'd spend most of the night looking at the night sky. And I thought that was interesting, because I never thought about what's up there before. But, um... So, I thought maybe you'd like to see the stars. Together? Or, or just in general? I wish they were real. Just like birds. Birds aren't real. <laughs> oh, no, was I wrong? Well, was it really more of an actual swerve like crab when you don't actually like the stars? The stars are bad and gross? Did I step in it? Did I mess up? He's trying. No, you didn't step in it. Oh, phew. I got scared. Anyway. I've heard some people can see stuff in the stars sometimes, like pictures. They're called... Const is something? Constipated. I mean, constellations. Constellations! That's right, yes, that. Do you know some? You look up at the stars. You don't recognize any of them. No, I don't know any. Huh. You're saying I didn't step in it, but... Sif... Change the subject. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> Tell me something? Something? Something about you. Oh, okay. <laughs> um... Well, okay. You know I'm from Javante, right? I lived there my whole life. It's a nice big city. More than one house, too. Way bigger than Dormont. Big enough that you don't know the life story of every person you see. <laughs> anyway. You might think it's surprising. I don't know. But when I was Bonnie's age, I was like the smartest smarty pants around. Not like slightly smart or anything, but like the nerdiest kid you could imagine. Huh. You have trouble imagining Isabel as anything other than the boisterous man he is. Kind of like, really imagine it. Big glasses, super deep braids. Always knows the answer to any question the teacher has. Always getting perfect grades. Always too shy and focused on grades to even know how to make a friend on the playground. That was me. And, um, I didn't really like myself. Because, like, I was smart, but I really hated being shy. Being alone. Not even able to ask a classmate for a pen because I was too paralyzed by fear. And I was ready to spend the rest of my life like this. But one day, after years of living like this, I looked at myself and the way I was, and the way I existed in this world. I looked at that kid in the mirror and I thought, Is this it? Is this really who I want to be? Couldn't I just be someone else? Someone that can make friends, someone people could love? Someone I could love. Someone I wouldn't feel ashamed of being. Someone... Oh, wait. Wrong word. Couldn't I just... Change? And that's one of the things people go to the houses for, you know? To learn things, to train, to do bodycraft on yourself. To change. And you could stay for a bit, and come back changed, and no one would say a thing. They'd just accept the new person you become. So, I went to one of Javante's houses and threw myself into it. Trying to be the coolest, strongest, most dependable person around. Lifting weights, training my voice to be deeper and louder, crafting my own body to be cooler, stronger. Looking at myself in the mirror every morning and yelling, I'm the coolest. Change is destruction, you know? To bring about change, you need to know you might hurt people, might hurt yourself even. So you always have to be careful and think about whether the destruction you bring about is worth it. 
I decided it was. So the person I was before, I made them disappear. I killed them with my bare hands. Made sure they'd never, ever come back. So I could live. Uh, it, it sounds so bad when I when I say it like that. The kid I was before is still here. I just mm, grew around them to protect them. Building an armor until it becomes the real thing, so I could become someone strong, someone outgoing, someone comforting to be around, someone I would have liked to know before. Meh. It doesn't matter that much. I'm here is what I mean. And I love myself so much more than I did before. But even the person I'm now is a work in progress. I want to change still. I became a big and strong and dependable happy-go-lucky dude because that's who I needed to be. But lately I've been feeling like I need to let down the airhead facade a bit. Act less stupid, that sort of stuff. It doesn't feel great when people think I'm stupid just because I act a certain way. So I might change again soon and become someone slightly new. That sounds cool, right? Oh. You never knew. Isabel wanted to change to become someone else, and he did it. He must have worked for so long to make his wish come true. <laughs> I might change to be a mix between a jock and a nerd. Balancing all, you know, like a gamer. <laughs> Ooh, why? No, 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 don't do this to me. So you'll change to a jerk, or a jerd, or a knock. Oh, wait, I thought it said jerk and then nerd. Knock sounds like a different word, and jerd is, like, funnier. I like saying jerd. So you'll change it to a jerd? More like a knock. Sounds better, doesn't it? better mouth feel. Yeah, it sounds like you're saying ah! <laughs> They both sound bad as a No, don't say that. <laughs> you can be a smart jock or a buff nerd. Ooh. Buff nerd, yeah. You can be a buff nerd. Oh. You think I'm buff? Yeah. You quickly look away from him. Anyway, after we beat the king tomorrow and we go our separate ways, I'll just change into someone else. Someone who can be both strong and smart. Both at once. What a concept. Doesn't that sound like someone cool? Doesn't that feel like someone you wouldn't feel ashamed of knowing? Is that what he thinks? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have never felt ashamed of knowing you. Not even a little bit. Damn. I didn't think about it from that angle. Huh. You're gonna make me blush, sir. And, well... You know I feel the same, right? You're like maybe the coolest person I know. You know that, right? And I really like spending time with you. Ah! <laughs> when we hang out, I always discover new things. Like cool theater stuff. Or even just something new about you. And I like how you always have a pun ready for any situation. How you breathe in the specific way sometimes, and... I wish I could breathe with you to make you feel better. And I like the way your face looks when you eat your favorite foods. Oh my god, he's flirting. He's in love! And I want to know more about you. Talk with you more. Laugh with you more. And... And I... You can't look away from him. I... Oh! Well, 
the sound of a shooting star, I see. Hey, look up. Isn't it cool? And then you kiss him on the cheek. I mean, with consent. <laughs> you look away from him. And look up at the starry sky. There's no shooting star. But you don't mind. <laughs> see, I told you they'd be here! Oh. You heard Issa muscle... Sorry. You heard Issa mumble to himself about it earlier, more like. Hi, Sifrin. Hi, Isabel. We figured you'd be here. Can we join you? Everyone is here. Damn it. <laughs> Good to see you, everyone. Such a beautiful night. Was it your idea to come here, Isabel? It was. Under the stars, huh? How romantic. Very well done, Isabel. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, it wasn't romantic at all. Just a pal's outing. A buddy's hangout. I, of course, would bring any one of you here. Uh-huh. I brought our food, so we can all eat here. A nightly picnic. Oh, I can smell samosas. Yummy. Yeah, I made a lot. Fred, take one. Take two, even. You deserve it. Sifra and Sher worked hard today, didn't they? Thank you for your help earlier. You jump. Yes, thank you, Sifra. You've been a great help today. Friend, tell me how to fight. I'll be able to help you tomorrow. Oh, I'm looking forward to it, Bonnie. Za, did Friend help you today, too? You freeze. Did you? <laughs> huh. Oh my god, look at him! Just go back in time so you can do this over and over. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Of course, Sif helped me today. Isabel's looking at you, smiling brightly. Thank you for spending time with me, Sif. Oh. You hide your face beneath the rim of your hat. How wonderful! Thank you, old great helper. Here, have another samosa. And have some pate and bread. I'm sure you want some tea, too. And here's some of my curry. Your plate is overflowing. You see everything on your plate sway back and forth. You eat as much as possible before everything falls down. Oh. You burp. Ew! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Nice reflexes, Sifrin. Everyone starts laughing happily. You laugh, too. You're surrounded by your allies. Your heart lifts. You love them. You're glad you got to spend time with them. You're glad you know them better. You're glad... Friend, you okay? Want some more snacks? You smile. Yes, please. Then eat! Eat as much as you want! You all ate and laughed under the stars. Tomorrow, once again, you'll go into the house and fight the king. But today, today you're happy. I'm not crying. Look, I'm not crying. Still here? You know who will not be here? The non-subs. Because guys, for four hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. Four! My voice is going out. Five ninety nine, just six dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Click subscribe right now, and see if you got a free Prime sub, sub available. <laughs> Dude, I can't talk. I can't. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few, and then I also have to have my lunch. Today's shake is. This one. Atkins hashtag not sponsored iced coffee cafe caramel. I think I'm also gonna put my hair up. It's bugging me. Like, I don't feel it, but it's still bothering me. I'm glad that at least today's been mostly talking. And I assume we're gonna do like, I, I, I do think I have to do the whole game again. Which is fine. 
It's fine. We did it the other day. Like, fuck it. I'd rather get a save point at the king with everybody getting their perks. Do 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 Guys get cozy, we're playing everything again. I said before, I like the caramel one more. But I've been having the mocha one the past few days, and I kind of like the mocha one. I think I just crave whatever I'm not eating the current day. Okay, so I'm going to keep picking away at this for the next hour. <clears throat> I'm locked in. The house's gate. You play with the orb. You had a nice time yesterday. Hanging out with Isabeau under the stars. Oh! <laughs> you got the memory of stargazing. You'll always remember this. Hi, Stardust. I didn't want to interrupt before, but... You got a new memory. When equipped, memory of stargazing boosts all of your fighter stats by 30. Wow. Your fighter also learned the skill, We Will Win. We Will Win is amazingly strong. When used, it boosts everyone's attack, defense, and attack stat for a few turns. Oh my god, that's crazy! That's actually crazy! It's so strong. You'll only be able to use it when you and your fighter have had this exact conversation. So if you loop back to Dormont, you'll have to talk to him all over again. Remember that, okay? But hey, Stardust. It was nice, wasn't it? Hanging out with all of them yesterday? They love you now. Oh, now? They hated me before. Your bond with them is stronger now. Isn't that neat? It is neat. You don't want to have to loop back to before you spent that time with them. What would happen if... If you stayed with this version of them until the end? If you went through the entire house without looping ahead, beat the king and saw the head housemate with them, would anything happen? Would anything change? Time to walk all the way up and beat the king. Okay, I was gonna do that anyway. I was planning on playing the whole game again, which is fine. It takes about like three, four hours. That's fine. I'll do it. I would rather go on. Because I don't. The main reason being, I don't want them to lose the equipped if I go back to the king now. It would be silly. So, right now, I'm just gonna play through the entire floors one, two, and three. And get to the king again. So guys, get cozy, editor. Um, only keep in like essential dialogue. Otherwise, cut every fuck every fucking thing out. Guys, get cozy. Get your snacks. Yes, it has been four hours. Um, guys, ask me anything, and I literally will answer. <clears throat> Still here? But yeah, I want to change what we have equipped, actually. Because if I change what we have equipped, then... Bonnie's more likely to attack. Bonnie will never miss. I still think it's better for Bonnie to heal us more. Because we don't really need offensive right now. Next up, Odile.
plus 30 to all stats. Wow. Attack speed up is nice. Oh, but then... Attack speed from 109 to 114. I guess Odell's max speed is 114, then. I think I will save these for the final fight. Bow, let's see. Base defense. Oh yeah, these definitely increase a lot more of Bow's stats. Bow's very weak in the beginning. Memory of Faith, plus 30. Yeah, everything else Mirabelle rem will remember later, so we're just gonna do Memory of Faith. Just so we can get through battles quicker. Memory of Victory. I kind of like that attack up. I don't need more max HP. Oh, wait. I gained that now? Oh, it doesn't stack every... Oh, wait. Okay, so right now my HP was 883, and then whenever I equip the Memory of Looping, I gain that HP now. Oh, you only gain that HP when it's equipped. Mm. I don't think I want that now. I want to tag up. Screw it. I don't need more max HP. I might need that later on, though, but not now. Hey guys, get cozy. We're playing the whole game again, hell yeah. Not the sadness! That stupid sadness again. Ooh, I could just attack on my own. Ooh, that's kind of wild. Or stand still like usual. It's fine, you're not annoyed or anything. Follow the script. A sadness, huh? Here again. Since this is potentially a final run where I'm going to make save points, we're going to make sure to do all the correct dialogue. Really? Tutorial time. We want to make Mirabelle feel good. For some reason, you decide to do the tutorial time once more. Don't tease me, Sifrin. We're going to make sure everybody still loves us at the end of these encounters. Anything for my girl, Mirabelle. If you're not careful, you might defeat the sadness in one hit. You make sure not to strike too hard. Phew. Okay. I didn't mean to escape. Increase our speed. I'm not gonna hit. We're gonna let everybody else practice. Sifrin is still sad. Ain't no way it's a scissor type.
Okay, maybe I should not open the tutorial again. It's a dub paper type. Ah, <laughs> oh, Sif. Even I know that's wrong. Wrong. Try again, Sifrin. Okay, I'll not be done. Rock attack. Oh yeah, my stats are increased, I forgot. Breathe in and out. 100 XP received. Okay, we continue on. Uh, let's keep going. I'm skipping the tutorial. Screw it. I lied earlier. It might be worthwhile to fight him, because Sifrin can probably one-hit KO at this point. Breathe in and out. 400 XP received. That's a good chunk. Yeah, I might as well just beat every enemy I see. Screw it. Everybody's super OP now. have to make sure to go into every single room and get every single collectible because this is going to be a new save basically Sure, what all the collectibles are. I assume they're just achievements. The first save of the day. Damn. Okay, also, I need to use the restroom, so I will be right back, guys. Put your favorite emote in the chat. I need to know.
I'm back. Tap one if you missed me. Okay. We're back in it. Let's go, everyone. Hi, Cupid. <laughs> you know, I love farming ones. We're going to the far right, and then the left, and then the right. Hmm. Sif, did something happen? What? Well, what do you mean? Did you drink a special tonic or something? You seem, well... So graceful, right? I know I wasn't imagining it. You're walking in a cool way. Like a dancer or something. You usually feel like a tiny fennec fox. But you feel more like a panther right now. And the way you defeated the last few sadnesses we've seen. That was... Impressive. Yeah, I'm like 20 levels above you guys, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. It's just time to get serious, you know? It's time to get serious? I'll show the king my true power. I'll show them all. And then, no one will ever make fun of me again for being barely taller than a preteen. I'm the same height as you, Mira. Oh. Mirabelle looks at your heeled shoes, then at her flat boots. Is that so? <laughs> Yowch. Yeah, Belle. Hit him where it hurts. Yowch. Are you really moving differently, though? Faster, more silently? Come to think of it, your allies do feel slower to you now. Clumsier. How long have you been in there compared to them? Is there is there like a way for me to talk to everybody? I can't. Yeah, there's not. I don't think. Call loop. No, I don't want to call loop. Weren't we supposed to tell them that I have the power to loop? They're coming on to me. What? Wait, isn't this the book Bonnie was looking at on the third floor? They were very defensive about it. You look at the back. Life to Ash's death rituals from around the world. Why would Bonnie be looking at this? Ooh, caught! Good thing I checked that shelf. Some vials. On the third floor, there was a book. Okay, I'm writing that down. Third... Third book, Bonnie. I would totally have not clicked on that bookshelf. 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 The game cupboard. Not the tears. Shit. much faster than my allies. I don't know what they're on about. Yo! Easy. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received. And it's been forever since we've been to floor one, huh? Not a sad 
news. Weak to scissors. Very nice. Yup. You breathe in and out. 1100 XP received. No clue where my sharpening rock is. Use the star crest, yes, sir. Stars. You hit your hip into the counter and bit your lip really hard. Why do you never remember the stupid counter? Oh no, sir! Do you still have trouble judging distance? Let us know if you like anyone else to take the lead. Oh really? I want another party leader, why not? Yeah, they're like talking about eating crabs. Crab isn't my favorite. I like lobster. I'm bougie. Guys, should we do the fan meetup at Cheesecake Factory? Oh wait, is Rebel Lobster like for real closing now? No, Red Lobster would be too messy. I'd have to bring my gloves. Is it in here? Shit. to like rent Disney for a day. If I had like money money, I would def do stupid shit like that. I know you can rent the Eiffel Tower. I know that. This book was, I think, yeah, it's a dictionary. And everybody's like, Sifrin, why don't you talk? And I'm like, I hate talking. Easy. This was the sadness, I believe. Nope. Dodged, I dip, and I dodge. I, I dodge. Caught.
this guy was not in level one before. That's what Loop was talking about. I just didn't even register that. Different level enemies are spawning in lower levels. I played the game so much, it's all like blurring together. Okay, it resists paper, so that means it's scissor type, I believe. Rock time. Yes, sir. Nobody needs healing. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Dude, I really hope we beat the game today. I need this. The sword is on the wall still. There's nothing on the wall. That's weird that it still shows up. The first loop, it didn't show up. Or sorry, the second loop, it wasn't there. Weird. Wait, is that- Could this be my sharpening stone? Surely not. Excuse me. Oh my god! An anvil, sharpening stone, and forge. Oh my god. Good thing I checked here. The sharpening stone. For the key knife! You pick it up. You got the sharpening stone. You put the stone in your pocket along with your souvenirs. You should be able to sharpen the key knife now. When you get it back, that is. Oh my god, thank god I checked that. Oh my god, that literally just clicked. This is the only place besides the ceramics room where the oven is. Oh my god. Holy moly. Now, wouldn't this be a long, sharp thing? But I don't know to grab it. Dude, I'm so smart. I don't think we need the bob on though. We are able to beat the king easily. Oop. Crocodile. <laughs> All done. I think there was a weapon in that cupboard, that's why it didn't show up. Okay, 
Okay, I can't click on these papers. Oh, wait! Some papers. They seem to be various newspaper articles about the king. You should keep these in mind for later. No, I'm not. I'm not. Don't tell me I have to come back here. Ain't no way. Please don't tell me. But either way, it's still best if I go all the way back to the top with the current save. You got the draw card. Oh my god, it's... It's smut. Wait, that's not a pillow. That's a hat! Just like mine! What? You got the pillow hat. You give the pillow hat to Bonnie to equip later. Did I really not pick this up? What? The one time I did not click on a bed on my first playthrough. What the hell? Round hat. Boost attack. Pillow hat. Boost attack. Okay. Um... Oh, the round hat is weaker. Okay, cool. They got the pillow hat. W. Good thing I checked. A dress with art books on top of it. You open the drawer. Yeah, so I guess I do have to click on everything fucking again. Again, again, again. Oh. Over and over. Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. At least the higher level enemies do give me the higher XP. Because usually level 1 enemies only give you like 100. Breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Okay, I've gotten everything in floor one. You close your single eye. Why do they keep rubbing it in? They don't need to. I'm also gonna go back and save here. That way if somehow I need to reset at floor one, they're already leveled. Honestly, going back and doing the floors isn't too bad now that I know exactly where I need to go. I'm locked in. A sadness! It's wild because we, we've already done floor two and three again today. Hmm. I don't mind.
mind it as much anymore, the looping. Because the game is pretty clear on telling you what you need to do. I don't feel too lost anymore. Like, having loop reminding me is very helpful. Now the combo time. Yes, different still looks perturbed. We got some into scissor. Now it's rock type classic. Okay, so this enemy is only weak to its weakness. Otherwise, the other two moves do nothing. Combo incoming. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, we're all healed. I think I should just. Oh no, I can't do offensive attacks. Let's try the Holy Care Shield, see what it does. Ooh. Nice! Paper attack with Odile. combo because my allies are still too weak. Still resisting. How long does this shield last? Okay, Mirabelle's shield is gone. Let's do regenerate. Okay, so the shield lasts for the current turn and then basically the next turn. Breathe in and out. 6,000 XP received. 
Sifrin is now level 70. Mirabella is now level 46. Isabel is now level 46. And learn the craft skills so weak. Oadal is now level 46. I think everybody learns their skills by level 50. We did it! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh my god, I'm hungry! Now choose! Choose which one you want. Don't worry, I have enough for everyone. You would like... Honestly, I would love an onigiri. They're my comfort food. to floor number two. Half of the bonded earrings. Oh, was it this person? Gardening classmate. Yeah, they, they're cooking. They took cooking glass. Okay, lame. Lame. While passing through, you take a deep breath and... As you gently poke her, she pokes you back. Her cheeks feel warm. Oh my god, we're flirting. There's some gardening books about rare and powerful something. None of them catch your eye. Okay, the closet says something different every time. I wonder what that's about. Okay, I'm gonna click on everything in this room. I ain't missing anything. Okay, nothing new about the spreadsheet paper. King might have given him more notoriety than he should have. Hmm, maybe we should not call him King at the next fight. Nothing new in this room yet. Oh no, not the boulder!
were so strong, it only took two of us. You breathe in and out. 650 XP received. Yeah, this person... This is... I don't know. I don't know who they are. Someone's partner, bonded partner. Look at the earrings. Oh my god, the earrings. They might have been looking for each other when they can't contact. Oh my god, they're writing a wrong column. You got the bonding earring. Okay, so I got the earring. Now I just have to find the partner this time. Okay, the boys kiss. That can't be real, can it? And this is an item. The crumpled poem. The librarian frozen in time. Nothing new there. A pile of lists of books that have been checked out at the library. That triggered Odile's dialogue, but since we got the book in this save, it's fine. Oh, the book is gone. Huh? Something's weird. Huh? Something's weird? Like what? I'll let you know when I find out. Uh-oh, they're onto us. Monka. What am I gonna tell them that we're looping? We're supposed to tell them. We have the no the diary shelf. Uh, sure. We do not have the time. I read the diary. You open your mouth, but no sound comes out. You can't even think of its name anymore. What's name? I skipped the dialogue. Uh, awkward. Hopefully that wasn't important. Oopsie. Well, my theory that the, the family book would be on the diary shelf was incorrect, so it doesn't really matter, hopefully. Secret room there. I don't know. Ain't no way. We're talking about the carrot book. Moldy books. Color theory. Ew. This was the stack of papers about checked out books. Odell is looking intently at the list. Paper as family tale, huh? Interesting. Odell looks your way. Very interesting. You look away. Cut! Cut! Books with no titles. We should at least tell Odile, because at least Odile is smart. Everyone else kind of dumb. Caught. There was no option for me to tell my friends what's going on. Maybe Odile isn't all meant to catch me. Kaboom.
You breathe in and out. 650 XP received. Clean. <laughs> Silly bow. Caught. The devil resisted paper. It means it's scissor time. Rock time. Rock game. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. You know what else is easy? Subscribing. Because guys, we're five hours in. So, if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee. Get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Click subscribe. See if you got a free sub available. Do it, do it, do it. We're going to beat this game today, surely. Even though I said that last time, I'm not lying today. Stream ends when I beat the stupid game mods. Change the title. Dude, my voice is so fucked. <laughs> Caught. since we've seen this particular enemy. God damn, Sifrin. Oh, me. You know what? I'll say it. I think we're the goat. You breathe in and out. 450 XP received. Either way, I need to level up my characters. Oh, I wanted to see what was on the wall. Oops. Breathe in and out. 300 XP received. I cannot click on the wall. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna click on everything in this room again. A desk. This is the fashion designer person. They're talking about multiple names. You only have one name. Sifrin, the goat. Bonding earrings. Is that why you guys all wear earrings? Huh. 
follow the script. Man, this game is so meta. Mirabelle's like, oh my god, I embarrassed myself with a glass. Oh no. Okay, maybe this is new dialogue. Oof. <laughs> wait, I skipped it. Uh. Oh wait, this is a new dialogue. Shit. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't read it. You got a memory of learning. You'll always remember this. When memory of learning is equipped, all your housemates' craft skill cooldowns will be lowered by one. That's kind of cool. That is actually really good. Some vials. Okay, let's get the key. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait, I didn't click on the rolled paper. Various school supplies. Okay, nothing new. This is a sadness, I believe. Yes, sir? Skill this enemy is. Okay, scissor attack is correct. Breathe in and out. 1,100 XP received. Isabel is now level 47. Odile is now level 47. I really want to go up, but I should not. Because I think the only item up above was a heal. And then this was the word door. Easy peasy and lemon squeezy. Wait, oh, yeah, do these people have the earring? The grape stomping student. Okay, not them. You got a shiny piece of glass with your souvenirs. And here we're gonna talk about croissants. How I hate them because they got burned. 
They suck. Oh, it brings back bad memories? Uh, I clicked the wrong thing. Dang it, it's okay. An empty dresser. I didn't know them. Oh no, so sad. Go home, cry dad. Mirabel seems like the popular girl, but you don't know how she's popular. But everyone loves her for like no reason. Which was not me. <laughs> Different urine. Hell yeah. You breathe in and out. 400 XP received. Is that bozo? You breathe in and out. 450 XP received. Mirabel is now level 47 and learned the craft skill Lovely Moving Cure. I kind of want to re- I kind of want to reset just to look at the tier rooms again. I kind of want to. Oh, but if I do that... I would reset before getting the tier. Or after getting the tier. Never mind, actually, I don't want it. Peace and light, people cried. I don't care about the tier rooms. I don't think there was anything too substantial. Okay, level two is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and save. On to floor number three. And it's these guys again.
Nice! A crit already! You breathe in and out. 7,000 XP received. Sifrin is now level 71. Mirabella is now level 48. Isabel is now level 48. Bodal is now level 48. We won! One last floor to go. I'm noticing I didn't see any shadows of myself. Or reflections of myself on this run so far. We're talking about death. Oh, I was mean. No! Oh, no. I was mean. No! Uh-oh. Also, thank you for the follow. Plus one! Thank you. Can we get some yo's? Oh, no. I said the wrong thing. Yikes. Oh. Uh-oh. Body heard. Oh, I think this is new. Because me and friend promised, you know? Friend promised he wouldn't get hurt protecting people anymore. Oh, yeah. This is new. I promise I'd protect Frin. So if I protect Frin, I protect all of you. So, so if I'm here, no one will get hurt. That's a Bonnie promise. Bonnie looks at you and offers you a big smile. Yeah, because we were talking about death, and everybody's like, "Oh my God, Billy, Bonnie, listen." Bonnie. Oh yeah, and then we're like, "Please, we have to make sure Bonnie lives. We can't let Bonnie die." Am I really getting reassured by a kid right now? <laughs> well, if Bon Bon is saying it, I believe it. You and Bonnie will protect us? I... I won't accept such a one-sided promise. If you both will protect us, we'll protect you both too. We'll protect each other. Indeed, we will. Don't worry, Bon Bon. Don't worry, Sif. We'll all fight and we'll all live. You know, I'm smiling. So, to make sure we have enough energy to protect each other, isn't it? It's nap time, baby! So which snack do you guys want? You would like. Not the pineapple, I don't want to die. Unless? Not have the Madelines. There you go. Imagine I took the pineapple. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to everybody again. Friend, do you see me? I'm gonna touch you now! Yo! Bonnie slowly raises their hand and slowly moves it towards your hand and slowly pats your hand. Good kid, good kid. You didn't even jump that time. Good job. You did such a good job. You laugh. Friend! Oh, I love how Bonnie loves us now. Bonnie gives you a thumbs up. You give a thumbs up back. Oh, that's so. I should have talked to Bonnie in the previous food cutscene. Sifrin! You tilt your head. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to say your name. Mira. Sifrin? Mira. <laughs> Sif? No. What? Sif is my Sifrin nickname, Mira. You have to pick another one. I'm sorry. I won't budge on that. Chim's alive, Isabel. I, uh, I mean. What? But you and Sifrin share Mira? It's not fair. That's true. All right. In the spirit of fairness, we can get joint custody of Sif then. You know, I think I'll pick another nickname for Sifrin after all. Man, Bo's getting possessive already. He hasn't even said he loves me yet. Jeez. Jeez Louise. But Isabel picked Sif. 
and Bonnie picked friend. I I have no letters left. <laughs> hey Sif, thank you for talking to Bon Bon yesterday. Why? Why? Well, because they managed to look you in the eye earlier, that's why. Didn't think it was gonna happen anytime soon after the whole incident, I guess. Uh, about my eye, you mean? Well, yeah. I always felt like you didn't really care about what happened, but Bon Bon's little, you know? Even if they felt like you didn't blame them for it, it's still a lot of emotions for a kid to handle. But knowing you, you probably thought Bon Bon started hating you for no reason, yeah? You got it. On the nose. Huh. <laughs> Bigger. I guess I should have talked to you about it, but it didn't feel like my place. So that's why I'm glad you two talked yesterday. Good job, Sif. Good job. Here. Have a Madeline. You feel patronized. You take the Madeline. Ha. <laughs> Aw, Sif. Want another Madeline? For doing such a good job? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. The little raspberry at him. He laughs. Well, are you gonna give me another one, guy? Come on. Oh, Dyla's looking at you. Ah, oh, never mind. Leave me alone, I'm reading. Leave me be, Sifrin. Old people need their alone time. He let her be. Maybe I tell them about my looping during the food cutscenes. Hmm. Peace, I too. Hmm. Okay, we continue on to floor number three. I'm ready. level everybody up anyway. I really should. Double resisted paper. That means it's scissor type, so we need to do rock moves. Easy. Man, I remember the days where I struggled with this enemy type. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Patches. The Craftonomy book. We don't really have time to read all craft of any kind. Let's keep going. You leave the book alone. Small paintings of various housemaidens. You can see Maribel in some of them. I gotta find the book that Bonnie was looking at. This was the chain. Oh, no, I didn't get... I got... I think I got a pendant of some kind, yeah? Yeah, the bell pendant. And I also have a chain. I think I've gotten most of the collectibles. 
Creo que sí. Yo coleccioné. The majority. I don't know how to say the majority. I really need to find the person who had the other side of the bonding earrings. Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. I do not have that key yet. Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. This, I believe, is a sadness room? Oh no, it's the mirror room. Okay, I'm not gonna skip this too much. Because I want to see if Sifrin is smiling. Everyone say fromage. Oh, I am smiling. Oh, I'm happy. You breathe in and out. Average of 50 XP received. I don't think I have the key for this yet. Yeah, I don't. Back to the lift. earrings is right before the king fight because we did see it when we went back through floor three again earlier creo que si you breathe in and out 200 xp received Wait, no, it's this person? Isabel is pointing at a dark earring with the same design as the person from before. It's the same earring. 
The partner! And they only have one earring! We have to give them the earring! And a note so they can find each other! Oh, Oh... Calm down, you two. Sorry. This is just so romantic. We're doing this! We're helping! Cipher in the earring, please! Smiling, you give Mirabelle the earring. I had no idea it was the person in the ceramics room. Isabeau! I have it! Wait, where should we put the note? Um... Spear the note to their ear with the earring, maybe? <laughs> note earring? Note earring. They make a note earring telling the frozen person where to meet their partner. I'm getting a little emotional over here. Me too. I hope they'll find the note and get to meet. Considering how the note is attached to their ear, I think they'll notice. They look stupid. Looking stupid is nothing in the face of true love. Isabel, you're so right. Wow. Love wins. That's gay. <laughs> the pottery teacher frozen in time. So did I, like, lose the earring now? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, I'm glad I found that. Pottery wheels. An oven for clay. It has a name, but you can't remember right now. It's a kiln. <laughs> a kiln. Who knew? Pottery wheels. An open book. Stand back, play, and dirty hands. It's an issue of the Cursing of Chateau Castle. Issue 87. A broken figure in the change god. You got some lumpy clay. Maybe we get to rebuild Mira's statue with the clay. That's my game theory. A broken figure into the change god. Now that the paper mache hands are gone, there's some tonics in here. W. Two salty broths. Oh, you know why I probably forgot that the pottery person was the bonded earrings? Because I always skip this room when I reset. I guess it is good to double check out everything again and again and again and again. Destroyed them. <laughs> you breathe in and out. 400 XP received. Mirabelle's role model, frozen in time. Oh, that's. that's my room. I wonder if we'll say anything in the dresser now. Mirabelle's dresser. There's important papers inside. Okay, so nothing new there. Nice. And then a books. Okay, so basically if you can fast forward a dialogue, that means you've heard it before. And if you hold B, then it's kind of new. And this is the Baba making closet. 
The house maiden. They're frozen in time. Okay, they're talking about getting taller. Closet of clothes. Like, oh my god, Super, and your cloak is so cool. The key ain't no way. Wait, this is new. Cyprin? Are you curious about the change god statues, perhaps? Oh, um... These are both new. I'm just wondering why they're broken. That's the king's doing, isn't it? They're statues of the change god, and the king wants to freeze the guard in time, so... Maybe the king wanted to make a statement. Look how useless your god is. That sort of thing. But only the faces are destroyed. Normally you destroy the whole statue, right? The face is important, Dial. Oh? Yes. Um, so every statue we've seen so far is made by a different crafter or artist. I think we've seen this before, but there's probably something new, like, spliced in. It's kind of a cultural thing to craft your own change god. The change god is always changing, always different. And we all have our own version of the change god in our brains. I forgot to pray to the change god at the beginning. Shoot. That was the one thing I forgot to do in Dormont. It's okay. We're already kind of leveled up anyway. The change god is always depicted wearing the same clothes. So they're at least recognizable in that way. But their face is always changing. I think the change god has like a thousand eyes. That's how they can see everything. I've heard someone say the change god had sewn their own mouth shut. Unable to tell us how to change and leaving it to us poor humans to figure it out. I had a dream they had dimples. And? And? Since it's crafted by us, it's supposed to represent our connection to the Change God. The Change God, by their very nature, doesn't interact with humans much. Except for when they bless Mirabelle. Uh, yes. But by crafting the Change God's face, we get linked to them in some small way. And some people even get to communicate with the Change God through the statues they made as well. Oh, really? Nah, not really. Yes, really. I met someone who's talked to the Change God when they finished their statue. Was it a dream, maybe? Because you know that doesn't count. Anyway, that's why all the statues are different from one another. Interesting. So it's a cultural transition. Interesting. So it's a cultural tradition to make your own statue. And it's a connection between you and the change god. How do you connect with your gods, madam? We make shrines of our gods, and everyone shares the shrines. Sharing gods? Broken, broken. Hmm, that's new. The bookcase is filled with books about body craft. Odal. I guess Odal said something new, but I missed it. Uh oh. Candles. Lavender. Crafting bodies. Pomegranate. An empty clean bed. I still don't have the code for this door. The king is probably gonna tell me it. I bet you like five bucks. Okay, I'll stay storage, storage room room, but I know it won't work. Oh well. Making our way down, down, walking fast. Face is past. I'm homebound. Homegrown. 
I said a hoe grown, not home grown. <laughs> out. 200 XP received. This is going to be the sadness and then we're going to go to the king statue. I believe this one was weak to paper. Creo que sí. I was correct. I've played this so many times. No way, Wombo Combo. You breathe in and out. 1100 XP received. Use the Star Crest user. <laughs> no, it's my friend. He saved me. Well, we're going to save him back, don't worry. the bathroom once again. You close the bathroom stall door. You like coming here because you know you'll be able to be alone for a bit, but you almost feel like going outside right away right now. Huh? Why? You feel weird. Even though you're stuck in this time loop and you don't know how to escape yet, you feel happy. You feel happy. Why do you feel happy? Is it because you're helping everyone right now? Hearing them out, helping with them with their problems? You talk to each one of them. Learn more about them as people. Talked about things with them you've never talked about with anyone. It was embarrassing a bit, but it made you feel so warm. It was nice. Even though you're not friends. Wait, we're not friends? What? Even though you're just allies. But that's how you become closer to people, right? By helping them out? So maybe right now, they like you better than in previous loops because you helped them. And, and okay, this will sound silly, but maybe that's all you need to break the loop. That'd be wild. That's stupid. You're stupid. Don't even think about it. Or it won't come true. You smack the side of your head, focusing on the pain. Stay focused. 
Stop thinking about best case scenarios. Stop thinking about your allies. Stop thinking about how they don't see you as a friend or anything. Stop thinking. Stop it. Stop it. You breathe slowly in and out and think about nothing. You exit the bathroom. How wild would it be if you truly had to go back to the very beginning in order to beat the game? That would be insane. But you know what? I did it. So I, I hopefully, maybe this is my last loop? That is kind of wild though, because in that bathroom sequence, it didn't tell me what I had to do. It kind of implied that I did everything that I had to. Because in the previous bathroom sequences, you're like, Man, I could have done this better. I could have done this a previous loop. Or I could have done this quicker. Or I need to do this. I've done most everything. I think. Surely this is the end. It's a dead end! Ain't no way. Their face obscured, their silhouette shrouded, their expression hidden. An intact statue the change god stands before you. Everyone is lost in thought, most likely sending their wishes to the change god. Join them? Why not? I've come this far. You wish for rest. <laughs> You found the key knife. Sifrin? What are you holding there? A knife! Did the change god give it to us? Huh? No, we can't. I think they did. With it we can... What? What the... That's... Floor 3's entrance. The change god beamed us there. That's... Well, at least we don't have to backtrack now, do we? I'm not gonna ask questions. Thank you, Change God, for this boon! Thanks, Change God. Thank you! You know what I'll look at each other and shrug. Thank you, Change God, or expressions, or whichever deity gave us this knife. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. You don't want to say thanks to it out loud. Now that I have the knife... Souvenirs. Sharpening stone. The sharpening stone applied to key knife. You try and focus on sharpening the knife. It doesn't seem to be getting sharper. Huh? Is that how you sharpen your knives now, Sif? Huh? Well, what do you mean? I don't know. Feels like you usually say something when you sharpen your dagger. Do you? You can't remember. Yeah, something's missing. Doesn't Sifrin talk usually? They do! They mumble when they make things. Like, mumble, mumble, mumble. A few weeks ago, you were carving a little wooden Odal, remember? And you were saying... Something? I can't remember. Hmm. I can't remember either. Are we as forgetful as Sifrin now? This doesn't bode well. If I saw a piece of carving wood or some carving stuff, I remember. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Could it be that easy? Hmm. Carving, carving. Where can you find carving tools or something? Don't tell me that I have to go back to floor number two. That would be Ridiculous. What in it? But should I go back to floor number two? Why not? Why not? Let's go back to the change god statue, see if Mirabelle has new dialogue, and then we'll go back to save at the spawn point right before entering the king's door. And then we'll go back to floor two. Lock in. Yeah, I don't think there were carving tools in the ceramics room. 
This will fall down to the minty. I'm sorry, why are we back here? Because Mirabelle might see something new. Mirabelle's intact statue, the change god. You look at it a little closer. You try not to make a face and fail. Can noses look like that? Yeah, everybody's teasing Mirabelle. They're being so mean. They're like, Mirabelle, make fun of your own artwork. And we're like, oh my god, we're such jerks. But we do have clay. Maybe we can, like, make the face look better? You all shudder. But, hmm. The statue is a link between Change God and the Crafter, right? You wonder what would happen if Mirabelle touched it right now. Hey, Mira. Can you put your hand on the statue? Huh? Um, sure. As soon as Mirabelle touches the statue, you hear something. Pachu. What? Harry Potter ending. Huh? What? Where are we? Mirabelle and you got transported somewhere. Someone's there, Mira. Huh? <gasps> Ain't no way. The... The head housemaiden? What? Mirabelle? I can't believe you can't recognize me. They changed shapes? Yeah, I did. I don't know... Wait, yeah, I did. I don't, you know, who I am. Someone who changes shapes? No, this can't be. You're... And she got it. It's me. The change god. Huh? What? What? Oh, no, no. I didn't mean to make you cry. I messed up. Oh, change god, I... I'm so sorry. Sorry? But for what? For many things. For being useless, for not being willing to change enough, for lying and making everyone believe you bless me for... Oh, that. I don't care. It's fine, don't worry about it. Huh? If I was mad about it, I wouldn't have helped you earlier, right? Is, like, everybody in my head... Like, is my whole party not real? Oh, no. But I did it because I'm rooting for you. Helped us earlier? Do you mean the knife? The key knife, okay? It has a name and you should use it. But yes, that was me. It was? So... Ah, uh, housemaid and Mirabelle. I'm about to tell you something really important, for many reasons. You won't remember it after I send you back to your quest. Well, your brain won't remember, but your heart will. So listen. It's true that as the change god, I cannot help humans much. Mostly because I don't want to. I can help with your petty struggles for survival and such. But it doesn't matter, because even my little god powers are nothing next to yours. The real power comes from you, Mirabelle. If you decide you can change, that's enough power and belief to do anything. Don't even need some silly rituals or anything like some other belief out there. And look how far you've come. Without me. But if that's not enough for you, then know this. You are loved, Mirabelle. I see you changing. Even if you do not. You are always changing. Always evolving. You are not stagnating in any way. And even if you were, that would be fine. Because life is all about changes. But it's also about staying right where you are sometimes. I'm proud of you. And I love you. And I love the stupid, ugly face you gave me. And I won't ever let anyone destroy it. Remember that, okay? Thank you, Change God. You were nothing like I was expecting, but... I would expect nothing else from you. <laughs> Aww. Mirabelle and the change god giggled together. Somehow, 
Rebo looks so much less burdened than before. Oh, oh! I want to do this! You got a memory of me. When equipped, it'll do. Eh, who cares? I don't know why you need to remember things so much, weirdo. Um, what? Mirabelle tilts her head to the side, confused. Aw, oh, crab, look at that head tilt. <laughs> that head housemate in yours is right. You really are so striking cute, Mirabelle. Oh, um, all right, that's it. That was your god call. Good luck, Mirabelle. I'm rooting for you. I love you. Bye. Beams you away. Well, wait. Just me. Mirabelle disappeared. Where did she? And you! Cipher, no middle names, no last name. Sorry for not talking to you. This was all for Mirabelle's sake, you understand. Her side quest. You know all about side quests, don't you? Plus, I know you don't really care about me. <laughs> but hey, it's not every loop you need to get. Hey, it's not every loop you get to meet a god. And it's not like yours will ever really talk to you. So I'll give you some words, too. I'll say then. I'll say them through the face of your little sponsor buddy, too, for the effect. Sponsor? And those words are... I have seen it all. Pitiful traveler. Walking through time. Going against the very nature of this world. This ridiculous, never-ending play. It goes against everything I stand for. Uh-oh, the change god hates us. I am the change god. My domain is the future itself. The possibility of it. And this... Is this what I have now? Dormont repeating. Dormont unchanging. Stagnating. A crime against life itself. But... But you don't want to be here either. If you could change it, you would. So, <laughs> you misunderstand. What? The events unfolding right now may go against my very nature, but it doesn't mean I'm not enjoying myself immensely. This pocket of time may be rewinding, but you are not. In this bubble, where everything stays the exact same, how will you bring about change? How will you change? I... I just can't wait to see more. I'll keep giving you the knife every time, so don't worry. Keep going. Keep changing. And keep giving us a good show. Bye. Oh, oh wait. No. Bye. Hangs up the phone. That was weird. You stumble. Whoa. Hey. Mira. Sif. Uh, are you two okay? What? What happened? I don't know. You both started looking weird. Like... Like you were about to faint or something. Are you both okay? Can you stand up? You and Mirabelle nod. Yes, I... I feel like... I feel like I saw something incredible. Huh? I... I don't remember it anymore, though. You do, still. If you're good, we should keep going. Yes. Yes, let's go. I'll talk to it again. An intact statue of the change god. Okay. Weird. My theory of using the clay to change the face was not correct. Can I go to the bathroom? Nope. Hmm. Caught. So we just have to change something whenever we go to the fight. I assume the game... The devs thought people would just go back to fight the king immediately, which I did not do. I went back and did the entire story again. So either way, I think I need to go back to floor two and get the carving tools. And then we'll go fight the king one more time. You breathe in and out. 
550 XP received. Because the change got it was implying that I need to do something different when I face the king. And the bathroom sequence made it seem like since I got like the true like friendship set up for my allies, that maybe I did it correctly. And maybe when I do face the king again, it'll be fine. Yeah, I don't think there were any carving tools in this room. This was a broken statue, I believe. Yeah, no. We have to go back to floor two, guys. Shoot. Well, at least we get to go back to, like, unlock doors in floor two. Okay, I've saved at the start of floor three. We're gonna save at the end, and then we'll reset. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, click follow if you're lurking. Thank you. And keep on forgetting to do follower callouts. Because I'm locked in. Okay, I'm resetting. The tear floats gently. Touch it. Yes, sir, we're going back to floor two. You had a good sleep. Start again. Okay, I'm about to go to floor two. And you know what else I'm about to do? Or run an ad, because guys, we're six hours in the stream. So if you're new here, click follow. And if you're already following, make sure you're subscribed. That way you don't get to see the ad. So you can subscribe for $5.99, just six dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. In no way, click subscribe, give me your Prime sub right now, and I'll say thank you. I feel the end is nigh. Ow. The hair is in my face. <laughs> back in. <laughs> okay, back to floor two I go. The carving tools, I believe, were to the right. You wake up. You dreamt about someone crying into nothing. Whose voice was it? The king's? Avi! You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Some carving wood. You haven't tried carving wood in forever. Everyone mentioned you usually mumble when you sharpen your dagger or carve wood. Will you be able to sharpen the key knife if you remember how you usually do it? You pick up the carving wood, looking at it from all angles, trying to remember. <laughs> Please don't look bad! Please don't look bad! Please don't look bad! What? Oh, you don't remember? That's what you were saying last time you were carving something. You were carving a little Odile, and Odile said if it looked bad, she'd ask me to cover your dinner with potatoes. So you were mumbling... Please don't look bad the whole time. 
You usually mumble things like this under your breath when you carve or sharpen your dagger or do something similar. Please have symmetrical eyes. Please look at least a little bit like a wolf. Please don't stab me in the hand while I carve. Feels like you're talking to whatever you're making or to your tools. Did you never realize you were doing it? Do you really do this? How embarrassing. It's cute, Sifrin. And also when you mumble, whatever you're carving does look really nice. It's when you're not mumbling that your stuff looks awful. Huh. Well, sounds like you should try sharpening this thing again. By the way, I still have the little wood carving of me you made, Sifrin. You do? Of course. Why wouldn't I? It was so very cute! You know, I'm still jealous Sif made you a wood figurine. I could curse you and your entire family name. Then curse me, coward. I will one day, and then you'll be sorry. Oh, I'm so scared. Nice. Shoot. Okay, either way, I gotta go back to floor three and do that again, but that's fine. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, I really, 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 really want to see how much stronger the knife is. XP received. Oh, I have to go back here again. Okay. It's interesting this door is not re unlocked. Good thing I checked. It's just the croissants bring back bad memories. Bad memories? Of what? You clench the silver coin in your pocket. You don't answer. Don't worry, friend. I'll make the best croissant ever, and you won't have to think about the bad memories anymore because the croissant is going to be too good. Aw. Oh, Bonnie, that's a lovely idea. Isn't Bonnie nice, Sifrin? You smile and nod. Aw, everybody's so nice now. We're all going to be best friends. Wait, we are best friends, right? Oh yeah, okay, we do have the previous memories from the, like, the true friendship cutscenes. Cool. We good, we Gucci. We just gotta do floor three all over again, smile. Not them again.
Nice. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You breathe in and out. 7,000 XP received. Sifrin is now level 72. And learn the craft skill tear you apart. Maribel is now level 50. And learn the craft skill shining light. Isabel is now level 51. Odal is now level 51. Okay, so I should progress everybody with this current save. Because everybody's already at level 50. We won! So we're basically going to do floor three all over again, but that's okay. That's what I thought I had to do anyway. I don't want to respawn at the end of floor three, because I don't know if I'm going to keep the memory of the carving tools. Is like me and Sifrin and I Bonnie will take care of everyone. I want not the pineapple, I want the fish head. Crunchy and delicious, like always. Used to find them disgust used to find them disgusting, but somehow you knew you loved them. So you tried them. Someone you knew? Who? What was that? Crunchy and delicious like always. Uh-oh. I don't think I'm real. Friend, do you see me? I'm gonna touch you! <laughs> okay, creep. Maybe whenever we die, we're creating, like, different alternate universes of ourselves. Like, maybe we're not the same person. Like, there's probably, like, one OG Sifrin that's watching everybody from above. That's a battle. Been a while since we've seen this guys, huh? These guys, not this guys. So strong. You breathe in and out. Five hundred ten XP received. Oh, I did tear me apart by accident.
Give my turn back to Cyprin just so I can see what Tear Me Apart was. I totally missed it. I misclicked. Deals big paper damage to one enemy. Gives two jackpot points instead of one. Oh. It took away my other... My rose tinted glasses skill, I think. Oh. Okay. That's cool. One less lock, but... Okay. It's weak to scissors. Easy. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Oh yeah, we didn't find the book that Bonnie was reading on floor 3. level of my friends because they're all like 50 and I think you unlock everything at 52. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Average of 50 XP received. Malupa and I am I on now? This is 28. My assumption is that this will take hopefully no more than five. I got to the very end of three, and then in order for me to upgrade my knife, I had to loop back to two. So 27 was not the final loop, unfortunately. Desa for non two dementi. Guys, don't worry, we're beating this today, surely. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Yeah, I gotta go to the left, to the left. is in all caps, Ethan. Get it right? Are you even a Twitch viewer? You breathe in and out. 300 XP received.
Wait, do I not have the earrings? What the fuck? No, I don't have the earrings. No. No. I still have the stone, though. What the fuck? I never knew it was an emote. It literally shows in the chat box. That's why I have chat on screen. That way mobile viewers can see emotes. Dude, why didn't I keep the earrings? Whatever, they're gonna be... Together never. I guess even if you spawn at the end of a level you still have to pick up the items which oh well too late now so if I have to loop again now I know I tried Breathe in and out. 700 XP received. That's my room. Gizmo Gadget was. Go, go, Gadget. Yeah, I don't need the Bob of anyway. I don't care. Yeah, this is the change room. I believe this was the door. Yep. I always check just to make sure. My memory ain't the greatest sometimes, but sometimes I... I do remember. to and pick up items, but I really don't need to. I don't. I am really sad that I missed the earrings, though. Ugh. 
my sadness. I believe this one was scissors. And the next one is rock. No, wait, no, is this one rock? This is the third floor one. It is rock. But it's more weak to paper. Got him. Die. Thank you. Wait, he's still- What the fuck? I mean, frick, sorry. You breathe in and out. 1,100 XP received. Odell is now level 52. We got the Star Crest. Let's get out of here. I'm walking here. Use the star crest? Yes. there isn't that a bathroom seems so okay let's see if Sifrin says anything new you don't really need to go you lean against the door and breathe slowly silently you hear voices outside the bathroom listen in or stay here to make time go faster I'll listen I'll listen yeah, I'm still alive. I said I'm beating the game today. Hi, Vic. Welcome back. You stand next to the bathroom door and listen. You hear a smack. Then another smack. Then multiple smacks, like two people slapping each other repeatedly. And then... Stop! Stop! I, I yield! <laughs> How can such a small hand do that much damage? I don't have small hands. Shut up! You sure do. Look. Awkward. Why is your hand so big? Adult privileges. And also, I propped my body to have big hands. But hey, Bonbon, bon, how are you doing? Doing okay? Want a snack? Want a hug? If I want a snack, I'll eat one. And if I want a hug, I'll get one. From Belle and not you. Ooh. Good. And how are you doing? I... I want to ride on your shoulders. <laughs> Okay. I'm so tall now. You are. I can touch the top of the wall if I wanted. Do it. Crab, yeah. You think everyone will be fine if we beat the king? Oh, yeah. Even my sister? Yep. Even Belle? Oh, for sure. Even Dial? Absolutely. Even Frin? Without a doubt. And you too? Of course. You promise? I super duper promise. Hmm. Pat pat. Huh? What? Oh, I was trying to pat your head. Where's your head? Is that your head? Not here, that's my chin. Is it here? No, that's my ears. It has to be here. No, that's my nose. <laughs> Look, my head is here. There we go. Pat pet. Hmm. Now get me down. You're too tall. It's weird. Maybe you're just too small, Bonbon. Bon. Maybe. 
But one day I'll be taller than you, and you'll be the one getting around on my shoulders. I would love nothing more, Bon Bon. You exit the bathroom. Oh. I've done most everything I need to besides the bop bum and the earrings, but I lost those. Still here? It's a dead end. Join them? No, I'm a rebel. Nothing to wish for. True. I've done so much on my own volition. He found the key knife. Sifrin, what are you holding there? Thank you, Change God. I'm not going to say anything. You don't want to say thanks to it aloud. Now? We're going to try the sharpening knife. Surely I'll get it this time. Sharpening stone. Sharpening stone. Apply to key knife. You take the key knife and sharpening stone and mumble repeatedly the first thing that comes to mind. Please be sharp. Please be sharp. Please be sharp. <laughs> Please be sharp. Please be sharp. Please be sharp. <laughs> Well, it's sharp now. Woohoo! He got the knife key. You put the knife key in your pocket to equip later. Woohoo! You did it. You are now the proud owner of a knife key. A knife that can cut anything, especially the king. Yes, you heard that correctly. When the knife key is equipped, your attack will be boosted when fighting against the king. Isn't that grand? One thing, though. This weapon isn't like the others. You can only equip it when you make it. Which means you'll have to pick up the key knife and sharpen it every time. It's an important item after all. You can't just have it. Unless... You get a memory of key knife. You'll always remember this. If you equip this memory and loop back to the king, you will automatically have the key knife equipped. That's it, Stardust. Goodbye. W. Knife key boost attack when fighting the king only. It lowers my regular attack, but that's fine. So if I want to loop directly to the king, I have to make sure I have this memory equipped before I loop, basically. But I don't mind looping. It's fine. Okay, now we go back to the statue. See if the change god has anything different to say. I don't want to fight this guy. I refuse. God, please! Uh, guys, click the follow button. I need it. Thank you. We're six hours in. We're beating this stupid game today. Unless I don't, then oh well. Easy. You breathe in and out. 200 XP received.
You breathe in and out. 510 XP received. We're going to touch the statue again. Everybody's roasting Maribel for their artwork and they're being bullies. Made sure that Mirabel didn't come close to touching it. Can I not get that cutscene again? I mean, it wasn't super important. It's not like we got. Oh. Wait. Mirabel. Okay, so we did get memory of Change God. Mirabel doesn't remember them, but she still feels them. Auto, adorable moving shield at the start of battle. Oh! <gasps> to save a turn? Oh my god, that's crazy. Wait, I didn't know the perk for that. It auto starts the shield? That is huge. Okay, before we actually fight the king, we need to equip that for sure. Okay. Now that I know that there's no new dialogue for the statue, that was a one-time thing. That means from this point on, if I do have to reset, we'll just go straight to the king, basically. Or we could warp... We could warp to, like, the very end of Floor 3. Breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Isabel is now level 52. I forgot to equip the knife. Oopsie. I don't want to save here. Or did I equip the knife? I did. Tee. And I'll double check everything I've equipped before we start the king fight. Because we have the eating room after this one. Okay. Now we can see if my knife key will break on this door. The gate stands in front of you. You know, I was wondering. Like, the king clearly closed this door to put the tears in our way. Yeah, the other locked doors. I don't care. Oh, did my knife break? I missed it. Let's see. It did not! Let's go! Still here.
Holy. Finally, we got the paper out. The big one is not vulnerable to scissor attacks. Scissor combo it is. is going to give their turn to Cyprin. That way Cyprin can heal. <laughs> nice try, Bozo. Make enemy weaker to all craft types. Yeah, why not? It's cool how there's a different animation now for those special skills. We will win. Lowers one enemy attack. I kinda like that. You breathe in and out. 7,000 XP received. Sifrin is now level 73. Mirabella is now level 51. Odal is now level 53. And learn the craft skill craft buff. Oh yeah, Mira's gonna cry in the next room. Sad. Don't cry, Mirabelle. Oh yeah, I haven't seen the new dialogue in this room yet. Because I reset before we reach the... This spot. That's my roommate, Claude. She's holding something tightly in her fist. It's a secret ingredient. I still have no clue where the other things are. Back here, finally. Another safe room! Let's rest a bit, shall we? This might be our last chance to breathe. You all quietly look Mirabelle's way, trying to make sure she's alright. Will this be different somehow? Oh yeah, because we're all closer, we're friends now! Hey, Mira, everything good? Oh, um, yes. I got a little fired up fighting that big sadness earlier, but I feel better now. I... I'm doing breathing exercises to stay calm. Oh yeah, because last time we had to help her with it. Ah oh, yes, the fabled Sifrin breathing exercises. Told you he wasn't doing it for no reason. It had to help him somehow. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Sifrin. And thank you for yesterday, too. I don't think I'd be this calm if we hadn't talked. 
Huh? Ah, uh, when you two spent time together. Yes, we had a good talk. It helped me realize some things. I'm glad. Nothing like a good talk between friends to feel better. And it seems like you were hard at work yesterday, weren't you, Sifrin? Helping me out along with Bonnie and Madame Odile? And me. <laughs> I suppose that's what friends are for, isn't it? To help with important things. Friends? Are you all friends? You traveled together. Ate together. Laughed together. So you thought it made you friends. But Odile says the same thing every time, doesn't she? Are we friends? Huh? Um, yeah. But you said it once, didn't you, Odal? Huh? I... You remember. Every time you stop for a snack break on floor one, she says... She says... You said we weren't friends. Oh yeah, because they joke about being allies after the coin flip. You said we were allies, colleagues at best. Hmm? Did I? Odal, how could you? I don't remember her saying that, but sadly, this does sound like something Oda would say. But she says it every time, every blinding time. Wait, did she even say it, this loop? Yeah, because I didn't do the dialogue sequences for this loop, so I don't remember. When you stopped for a snack on the second floor, it was all different, so maybe it was different then too. Oh, come on, the one dialogue I missed! Allies? I don't. Well, that does sound like something I'd say, yes. I don't know if I consider you all friends, per se. The five of us are just very different people, with different goals and thoughts. Our age difference makes it difficult for me to see you as friends. After all, why would an old lady be friends with a preteen? Oh, it's just strange. So no, to me, we aren't friends. Oh, Dial! I guess we aren't friends. The mere thought is absurd to me. Hmm. Way to bring down the morale, madame. I'm not done. I don't think we're friends, but... But I would do anything to protect all of you. Horrible things, to be honest. As long as I could be sure you were all safe. And I think you'd all do the same for me. For anyone in our little group. So... So friends doesn't fit to me, but... Soulmates! But we're a family, right? Huh? Oh! Yeah! We're family! Like me and Niall! We stay together! We eat together! We say good morning and good night! Family? I have a different relationship with the word. But... Yes, family fits better, I think. Wait, we can't smash family. No! Boat ending lost! She's supposed to be an old lady. I assume... Odile is like 25 or 30. Family! What a lovely word to describe our relationship to each other! I already thought of us like that, but it's kind of awkward to say it aloud, isn't it? It is, a little bit. But we don't know what tomorrow, even the next few hours, have in store. So while we are still together on this journey, we might as well say it. Say the unsaid. Especially since Sifrin over here seemed to think I didn't care about him. You don't know how to react. All this time, you were trying to keep in mind what she said. That you were just allies to each other. But... Odell reaches over and ruffles your hair. Don't think so hard, Sifrin. Quite honestly, it didn't seem... Quite honestly, it doesn't seem to work out very well for you. <laughs> So mean, madame. <laughs> Sifrin's hat is all lopsided now. You look funny like this, friend. You readjust your hat and hide your face. Huh. They all look at you, smiling. I'm bored. Snack time! I have... Um, I'll start with the worst one. Leftover samosas. From yesterday's dinner? Yeah. They're the ones I burnt. But I thought I should still keep them in case we get super duper hungry. Don't be mean to the bird samosas. They were delicious. They really were. They're not the worst of anything. <laughs> okay, next one. I have... 
Palomers! Palomers. We all know Palomers. They're yummy. They're crunchy. They get crumbs everywhere. Moving on. And, um, the last snack. Okay, I've never tried it before, but... Ta-da! Malanga fritters! Huh. What are they? They're fried malanga and garaman. Malanga is some kind of root and garaman is some kind of pumpkin. This smells heavenly. So, which one? Which snack do you guys want? You would like... I'll take the polymers. I've never had them. I mean... You guys don't know that. There you go! Bonnie hands you some palomers. Everyone starts eating. You bite into the palomer. Crunch. After eating your snacks, everyone's health has been restored. Wait. Have you tried every single one of Bonnie's snacks? You count them in your head. Plantain chips, cookies, malanga fritters. Yes, you have. Yes, I did! Huh. Just the fact that you've tasted them all means you've been looping for a while. And even though you might be tired of some of them, they're all so different and delicious still. How long does it take Bonnie to prepare all those snacks for today? You're a really talented cook, Bonnie. Huh? Well, of, of course I am! Stupid! Someone had to make sure you eat good things so you can be happy and not sad. Is that so? <laughs> Thank you for taking care of us, Bonnie. Thanks, Bonbon. Bon. You're the best, Bonbon. Bon. You all clap your hands. <laughs> you got a memory of safe rooms. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of safe rooms lets you recover all your HP after a battle ends. Oh, okay. Huh. As you eat, you look at everyone. They're smiling. Happy. Sometimes one of them sees you looking at them and smiles at you. In this moment, you are loved. You know, I have a good feeling. We'll definitely kick the king's butt. <laughs> kick the king's butt. Kick the king's butt! Huh. Alright everyone, let's finish eating our snacks. We have a king's butt to kick. Yeah! Is the memory a Bonnie memory? Oh, it is. Recover all HP after the end of a battle. Now that it gave me this now, it's kind of making me think I might need it for the fight. Bonnie will never miss. Recover all HP. Bonnie's more likely to attack. Bonnie's more likely to heal everyone. Honestly, Bonnie heals don't do much. Bonnie's attacks don't do much. Bonnie never missing. All right. I'll equip memory of safe rooms because since they gave it to me now, it's implying something and I'm scared. Okay, now that we're going to the final area, I'm going to change everybody's equipped items. First strike increases speed. Health items heal more. Plus 30 to all stats. I think I need that, honestly. Items healing more. It's not as worthwhile as increasing all stats by 30, let's be honest. Now for bow. Memory of Stargazing, plus 30. Plus 5 to all 5. Auto defense up at the start of battle. So weak. Break, break. Honestly, I think I also want to keep plus 30 to all stats. Because then it increases my base defense stat. I'd rather keep that. And then from Mirabelle... It only increases my attack by 2, but lowers my defense that's done. Plus 30 to all stats. Plus 5. 
will auto revive somebody once in battle. Oh yeah, auto equips the shield. Definitely for sure. Let's see what else I have. Cool down all stats by one or all crap by one. Lovely mirroring cure, shining line. Okay, I think I want to keep memory of the change god. Auto putting out the shield will save me a turn. I need to look at Mirabelle's craft. Kill one member, boost attack, unfreezes somebody, revive. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now for Sifrin. Memory of victory, attack up. I don't need that. Plus five. If looping, we'll have the knife key equipped. Memory of looping. <sighs> Boosting attack up is fine. But if it's implied that I'm going to have to reset. I'm going to equip memory of the knife key. Okay, I'm good. I'm happy with this. I'm gonna talk to everybody one more time, and then we'll save, and then go for the king. Ooh. Hopefully this is the last fight. I really hope so. I see you found the emotes again, Vic. <laughs> Cooked? I forgot I added that one. The little emoji down here. What? What is it? Are you still hungry? Here, have some more Malagna fritters. Bonnie fills your cupped hand with fritters. Eat them, Kay. You look weird. I think you're out of calories. Calories. I think you're out of calories. <laughs> you eat the fritters. Tastes good. <laughs> you know, you know, I made them for you. Thank you, Bonbon. Bon. <laughs> you're welcome. Bonnie smiles brightly. Oh, cute. I'm just hyper. I love emote spam. Spam as much as you want. Just don't spam like sus emotes. Like Kaka or Booba. Let me know if you're still hungry, okay? Sifrin, would you perhaps accept a comb? Is your hair that bad? You nod and you get your hand out to receive the comb. Actually, would you perhaps allow me to brush your hair? Yo. You nod? Oh, well, that's completely fine. I just thought I'd ask since. Wait, you said yes to getting your hair brushed? You nod again. Slightly further, you hear someone gasp and curse. What is this about? Quick, quick, sit down in front of me. Do it, do it. Hesitantly, you sit down and remove your hat. Mirabel slowly and methodically starts combing your hair. Finally, I can repay the favor. You did my hair so wonderfully a few weeks ago, so I'm glad I get to brush your hair in return. I was surprised you had experience taking care of kinky hair too. Uh, look, your hair is split everywhere. You should take better care of it. Such a shame. It's such a nice bright shade too. Will you dye your hair again? I think you should let it grow out. Light hair suits you so well. You can barely hear what she's saying. Getting your hair comb feels nice. You can feel your tension and Mirabelle's fade as she takes care of you. Mirabelle chatters on for a few minutes until... All good. You're all ready for the king now. Yes, we do have to be beautiful to appear in front of him. We do, madame. Gotta appear fierce. Of course. <laughs> Mirabelle smiles at you. We can do this, Sifrin. Mirabelle smiles your way, determined. Cute. So, Sif, Sifrin, buddy, do you want to talk? What about? Oh, okay, we're ignoring that whole thing. Sure, that's fine. We can do this if you want. We can also ignore how you're acting weird and how you stop smiling every time you think we're not looking. I'll give you one last chance, though. Would you like to sit down and have a talky talk about what just happened? No. Nope. Okay, no problem. But when we're done and we've won, and we eat dinner tonight, 
having beaten the king, before we go our separate ways, we will have the feelings talky talk. <gasps> huh. You snort. Sure thing, Issa. Oh. You said sure. We are gonna have this talk. Caught you. <laughs> You're stuck now. You will be emotionally vulnerable. But don't you have another talk with Isabel planned? Only if we have that first talk first. That first talk? Uh, what? Isabel freezes in the middle of a sentence. Wait, what he was gonna say in the bed? <laughs> yes. That other talk. The one I said I would have with you last night at the clock tower after we went back. Yes. That talk. Uh, yes. Uh-huh. Two talks, Sif. One talk each. We can get through this. Isabel gives you a shaky thumbs up. Smirking, you give one back. And you know what I have to give some of the viewers right now? An ad. Because guys, we're seven hours in the stream. You know what? Fuck it. Full day stream. And people say streaming's not a real job. Yes, Slay. So guys, I gotta run an ad. If you want to avoid the ad, I gotta do a subscribe for $5.99. Just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing on the phone. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Click subscribe right now. If I get a tw if I get a prime sub right now, I will say thank you. Hi, Cole Bobo. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Get fucked, non-subs. I'll say it. Tier ones are better. I'm literally sitting here making myself laugh with the emotes. I don't even need your stream. That's classic tier 2 behavior. <laughs> Wait, that's like so mean of you to say. Like genuinely. This one is my favorite emote. I like this one. Nah, that's like top 3. What's another good one? Wait, I like this one because I'm trying to be woke. I know you're kidding. I know. Like, half your messages, Vix, are like joking. So it, I know. But I know you clarify that you're joking so you don't get like clip chimped again. You know, I'd rather have chatters be like jokey and sarcastic than like serious all the time it would make interacting with chat insufferable you know what else is insufferable not this game i'm locking in oh dial time sorry for messing up your hair earlier i know you don't usually like to be touched but i think you needed it this time right you stay silent and readjust your hat if i can help with anything sifrin just let me know you and I are very private people. But we need to learn to open up every once in a while, don't you think? We're family, after all. I don't think I can. Open up, you mean? Hmm. Of course not. As I've said, it's not a skill we're very good at. But, know that I'll always be here, if you decide to do so before we part ways. You don't say anything. Offer valid whenever, Sifrin. You don't say anything. Okay, so there's a secret cutscene with Odal. Maybe we'll smash. Reach toward the light. Everyone was healed. You close your single eye. Officially at the king. Isn't this my third time? Guys, get ready to spam. You were here. I'm ready. Imagine taking a tear now. <laughs> I'm hoping this fight can go quicker. Oh, wait. I do have to, like, talk to the king. Somehow. Whatever that means. Oh, 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 young 
ones are you here to kill me? Oh, young lady, you stand for change themselves, do you not? I, I, I just want the world to stay the way it is now, to be frozen in eternal beauty, a world of everlasting peace and rest, young housemaiden. In a way, isn't my wish a form of change? Why aren't you on my side? Ah, oh, can't you feel it, young lady? The universe yearns for everyone's hopes to be encased in limitless, limitless ice. Won't you allow your fate to be ended? Corrupting and ending people's lives? You call this a form of change? You dare compare your dreams of ice and stillness to change themselves? That is not true change. This is just you, acting as a god would for your own satisfaction. One would think keeping a whole country from changing and evolving is the furthest thing away from change. Pretty self-explanatory, stupid. Seems like a pretty pathetic way to appeal to a housemate's good nature, huh? Is this what you want then? For us to peacefully let ourselves be frozen in time? I'll never be on your side, King. Not in a million years. Oh. Ha! Huh. Spoken like a true housemaiden of change, but... Wait. You. Traveler. Oh, that looks at you with an expression screaming, does he mean you or me? You look back at the king. Bright one. Do you remember? I remember you. Is that so? We shall fight, and we shall see which side the universe favors. We have to talk to the king somehow. Everyone's auto-protected W! The knife key glows. Your attacks will hit harder against the king. That raises everyone's attacks? Yo. Is that not for this part? <laughs> yeah. You've heard this before. Get ready, everyone. The king. He finally managed to beat him last time, but you still have so many questions. Why is he freezing the guard in time? Does his power have anything to do with the time loops you're stuck in? If you ask him something, will he answer? Ah, uh, fine. You can now ask the king questions by going into your craft menu. The things I let you do, Stardust, I swear. Loop wants me to kill the king. I think Loop is controlled opposition. The king waits. Ask. Oh, it doesn't use a turn, W. Ask the king. Ask the king, what's her goal? Oh, my goal? Sif, does it matter? It doesn't! Your reasons don't matter at all. But they might. Why do you want to freeze the guard in time? Sifrin! Oh, oh. Can't you guess? Can't you tell? Oh, stars, I thought my intentions were clear. But no one seems to understand. We don't know. We don't understand you. Why would you want to make an entire country suffer? And expect everyone to be okay with it? There must be a reason. Why would you freeze Vagard in time? And only Vagard for that matter. That's true. No other country has been attacked. With a power like yours, you could freeze more than just Vagar. But you stopped at the borders. Other countries are safe. He doesn't want World War III. Why? Oh. Oh. Because Vagar is perfect. Perfect? Such welcoming, creative people. Always willing to welcome travelers in. Even travelers with no name. No home to speak of. Such precious memories. 
It is perfect. I do not want it to change. I want it to stay exactly how it is. So it cannot ever be destroyed. That's so... What backwards thinking. I don't know what about Vigard made it perfect for you, but you cannot stop us from living. Asked the king. I can keep going? Okay, okay. I'll keep going. Are you the one doing this to me? Oh, oh. Doing this. Stars, you don't want to explain it in front of everyone. But the king, he could be the one trapping you in time. The one imprisoning me here. Huh? Imprisoning you? Whatever is happening to you, I am not the one responsible, bright one. But, that scent around you, could it be? It does not matter. I stink? He doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. So the king isn't the one responsible for the loops. Isn't that weird? You're looping through time, he's freezing it. Aren't you using the same power? Power over time? Asked the king. How are you freezing people in time? It's interesting because he's not fighting. He, he genuinely just wants somebody to listen to him. Huh. Hey, Sith. Could have told you that one if you asked. It's Timecraft, buddy. Timecraft. You've heard this before. Timecraft. The ability to craft time itself. But Timecraft is supposed to be impossible to control. Oh, maybe he can't control himself, like, all the way. How can you use it, yet alone do it at such a grand scale? Huh. If the Bright One isn't bright enough to know of Timecraft, they will not be bright enough to understand how. Ouch. Don't be mean to friend. Shut up! Timecraft. That's something to look into, isn't it? Either way, it doesn't seem like he's the one trapping you here. Since you're here, it might be worth it to beat the king now so you can go talk to the head housemaiden. She said something before about how you're looping, about something being broken. She knew something. After that, you have to find more information about Timecraft somewhere. No! That's so annoying. You can always go back and fight the king if you have something else to talk about. Ask the king. Oh, that's so annoying. We're gonna have to come back. Guys, we're not beating this today. Sorry. There's nothing to ask. Okay, either way, we have to defeat the king. That way we can talk to the head housemaiden and get more lore. The king is weak to paper. So I gotta build up paper combos. Faster than Mirabelle now, damn. Do you guys think I'll beat him this time? Surely. Let's boost everybody's attack. I kind of want that right now. Oh, oh, it is time, saviors. Nice. We survived it. Everyone okay? Oh, oh, we are still here. Good. Let us fight to the death, then. Let's do regenerate now. Yeah, regenerate now. Oh, and Bonnie heals! Thank you, Bonnie! 
We also lost the shield. Uh oh. I'll do paper attack because Bonnie should be able to do a turn before the king. Oh wait, unless our combo move takes away our power gauge. Is that not for this part? Yeah. You've heard this before. You don't have the right to cry! The king doesn't answer. Oh, it does not take away our power gauge. Okay, cool. The king was faster, oh! Sifrin, you have to give up your turn. Shoot, that sucks. I cannot afford to lose people. Oh no! Lucky. Adorable moving shield. Okay, I got lucky. I didn't have to skip the turn there, but I'd rather, I'd rather be saved than sorry. Keep building up paper combos. I think I should heal Bo. Because the king is going to be faster than all of us. That did like a fifth on its own. Body missed classic. No, not Mirabelle. You don't want to fight anymore. No. Oh, I can heal my HP. We'll just do a paper attack. And then we'll get a combo next turn. Yes, sir. We still have the shield. The king's tears disappeared and healed the king. So not for this part? Yeah, I've heard it before. You have heard this before. <laughs> Mirabelle time. I still have my shields. But... Hmm. I'll do a paper move now, and then Sifrin has to... Increase um, or do the bra. The king waits. And then Mirabelle's next turn, they have to do the shield. <laughs> well, emotes. <laughs> What, are you anti-woke? All this fight is going okay. I'm not scared at all. It's because I know what I have to do. Bola lost his shield. Let's make everybody faster. Yeah, Mirabelle and Odell will get a turn before. <laughs> 420 damage, Ayo. 
Mirabel, do the adorable moving shield. Thank you. Oh. Oh. It is time, saviors. Look up. Lucky. We survived it. Everyone okay? Oh. Oh. You're still here. Good. Let us fight to the death, then. More like your death. <laughs> Sifrin does have the paper move. And I should do that now, that way everybody gets a heal. Because we have the combo next turn. Guys, I'm like actually speed running. Nice. What is this? It's classic. You put classic whenever somebody does like. Classic kind of means like, oh, typical. I expected this classic. I think it's funny. Otherwise, smoking is bad. Don't do it. Make it the enemy weaker. Ooh, I'm scared. We'll heal Mirabel a little bit. Yeah, because we'll get two paper moves in before the next time the king attacks. And whenever the king got to, like, I think an eighth health, we get, like, a final finishing move. Let's do turn it up back to bow. Oh, I lost the shield. Awkward. Take him out. <gasps> Wait, we actually killed him this time. Is that not for this part? No. Concentrate. Ah, oh, no, this can't. King, I don't, I do not want time to stop now. I don't want eternity. I don't want to be stuck here in what you deem a perfect moment. Oh, but do you truly think your life will get more extraordinary than this? Do you truly think you'll become more powerful, more fulfilled than you are right now? Fighting me. Do I think something will fulfill me more than fighting you to save my country? Yes! Of course it will! Huh. Life will never get better than this, so you should give up now? Give me a break! The eternity you wish for? I want no part of it! We want no part of it! We will not give in! Because your eternity means the end of change! And I believe in change, King! I believe in a life that goes on! Things cannot stay the same! They can't! They won't! Or, as, or we as humans cannot change for the better. So I will never let you have your way. <laughs> yeah, but she said, nice try trying to manipulate us into being frozen. But we won't listen to you. This isn't the end of our story, King. Not by a long shot. How egocentric to think. Fighting you is the highlight of our lives. Believe it or not. Believe beating you isn't even worth writing on my resume. Saying all those things pushes into being frozen? You're the worst, King. You're nothing! You're not even a king. You're no one! No one! 
You're just a dumb baby idiot who freezes the country in time for dumb baby idiot reasons. Your turn. Sounds like there's nothing else for me to add, huh? So all you need to do right now is disappear. No. No, no, no. Disappear. 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 No. You attack the king with all you've got. We did it, boys. We beat the king again. Tent number two. You attacked the king and hit as hard as you could. Maribel's attack brings the king to his knees. No. I can't. I can't disappear. Not yet. Not when. I still can't say it. Oh. Two for three, baby. I'm going to keep a tally mark of how many times I've faced the king. We're back here. Oh, I, I think I missed new dialogue. Oopsie. You're happy to see them happy. We did it. Okay, this is not new. Same old, same old. The end again back here. more. Okay, I'm not holding down the fast forward, I'm just pressing it. Here again. Last time you got here, you looped right back to the start after talking to the head housemaid, didn't you? Is the loop breaking when you talk to her? Does she know why? If you talk to her, will time loop back again? But you managed to beat the king, didn't you? Together with your family? You didn't think helping them the day before would amount to anything. But time changed a little, didn't it? Even if it wasn't much, it changed. It changed! You know them now! You're a family! Isn't it just like the books Bonbon bon reads? Friendship fixes everything? And so, if you talk to everyone again, talk to the head house minute again, maybe, maybe something will change too. You should talk to everyone. Okay, head house maiden. Last. Well, we did it. We won. Whoop whoop. Ha! <laughs> whoop whoop indeed. Ha! <laughs> it was fun. Traveling with everyone? I will miss it. I... I suppose everyone will go back to their homes now. Mirabelle will probably stay here. Isabel will probably go back to Javante, and we'll ask someone to accompany Bonnie back to Bavanche. But what about you, Sifrin? Will you be going back home? Odile. Hmm. Why not say it in the end? I can never go back home. Oh. Why not? You look away. We're a criminal for sure. 
No, sorry. This isn't any of my business, but... No home at all. I never knew. I'm sorry. You keep looking away. I'll probably be going back to Kabu soon. Our paths will diverge soon. But if you ever court, but if you ever come towards Kabu, please come by and say hello, won't you? Don't be a stranger, Sifrin. You nod. Let's at least eat together, Tanana. What else smiles at you gently? I never said thank you. Huh? You saved me that time against the sadness. And you saved me when we met. You're the one who saw me back then, right? When I was... Walking? Oh. When you first met Bonnie forever ago. Bonnie was out of it. They've been walking away from their village for days when you saw them. Crying, barely hanging on. Walking to escape the slowly encroaching King's Curse. They fainted as soon as you got to their side. I was really, really tired then. So I don't remember well. But you saw me, right? You made everyone notice I was there? And I never said thank you for that. Or for protecting me. So, um... Mm -mm. Thanks, stupid! Bonnie runs into you, pressing their face against your left side. Their arms are still at their sides, though. Is that a hug? Without raising your arms, you gently lean back against them. <laughs> I'll miss you, friend. I know you'll leave soon, but, um... You should come by Babanch one day. So you can be my sister. So I can say... That's friend. They help me a bunch. They're really cool. So come and see me sometime, yeah? Promise? Yeah, I'll come by. <laughs> Yay! I'll be waiting for you, friend. Bonnie smiles at you. Whoa, did Bonnie just jump? Hey, friend. Bonnie smiles at you. Hi, Sifrin. <laughs> I know you may be tired of hearing this by now, but I'm glad we talked yesterday. I've always thought change was about changing yourself, and only yourself. If I couldn't... If I couldn't be how I thought I had to be, clearly the fault was mine, you know? It's my responsibility to change, even if I don't want to. That's what I thought, at least. But... If even you, Sifrin, can understand what I'm going through... If you're the same, even in a small way, then I must believe that I'm not the only one feeling this way about the changed belief either. And if I'm not the only one feeling restricted by the changed belief, if there's more people out there feeling the same as I do, then shouldn't the belief change instead of us? I have a lot ahead of me still, but I never would have realized this without you, Sifrin. So, whenever you're done traveling or you'd like to stay someplace for a little bit, Maybe think about coming to visit Dormont, just to say hi. But, but you don't have to. It's just an idea. I'd like that, Mirabelle. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad we're friends, Sifrin. Don't, don't forget about me and your journey, okay? Mirabelle smiles at you happily. Don't forget, okay? Mirabelle smiles at you. That's the sun, outside. Finally, it's bow time! Sif! We did it! We beat the king! You wanted to tell me something? Oh! <laughs> yes. I, I did. Um, okay. Okay, so, the thing I said I would tell you is... Is... Isabeau stares at you thoughtfully. Eh, never mind. Huh? Oh, what is it? Nah, I, I just... It doesn't really matter that much. I really want us to have a feelings talkie-talk about your feelings before we go our separate ways. 
And I can always tell you my thing after that. So, never mind. Sorry. I'll tell you later. But... But you could tell me your thing now. Wow, you're really curious about it, huh? But nope. I will not say a thing. Oh. But I will say something, though. I'm glad we're friends, Sifrin. No! I mean, literally, we did just say we're like a family, so it would be weird if we like have crushes on our family, let's be honest. Yeah, Bo's a king. Oh. Somehow you feel a little let down that he didn't try the usual thing. But I'm glad we're friends too, Issa. Oh. Oh, oh. Ah. 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 Ah, oh, crab. I think I might cry. <laughs> we're friends. You're friends. Isabel's cheeks are dark. Be sure yours are too. You both smile. I hope... I hope you'll at least visit sometime, Sif. Our journey is over, but don't be a stranger, okay? You nod. <laughs> Isabel smiles at you bashfully. He is such a little bitch. I'm sorry. If you, if you literally can't confess, you don't deserve to date them. I'm sorry, I'll say it. If you can't... Sorry for the gender term, man up and confess. You don't deserve to date him. I'm sorry. Head housemaid in time. The head housemaiden. Last time she said the loop was broken. And you loop back for no reason you can tell. And now that you're here with your family, it has to change, doesn't it? Time might not loop again, but you're loved. You should talk to her quickly before the loop restarts on its own again. Uh, hello. Traveling one. Are you done talking with your companions? Yes, wonderful. Wonderful. Wait. Isn't she saying the same things as last time? I'd like to thank you for accompanying young Maribel this far. I'm very grateful. Sifrin, yes? If there's anything I can do to thank you, please don't hesitate le to let me know. Oh, stars, no. She's saying the exact same thing she did last time. I know you will go back on your travel soon, but I do hope- I Interrupt her now. Interrupt her. Just be like, hey, I'm sorry. Tell me what's wrong. No, it, it shouldn't- it should have been different, shouldn't it? You said something different this time. You're with your family, they love you this time. So, so then, why is she repeating the exact same thing? But no matter what, know that Dormont will always be open to you. Please come back, any- Time. Oh no. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You breathe. You breathe. You breathe. Power of friendship, huh? Why would whatever happened before change anything now? Because you're loved now, you are safe. Is that what you thought? Stupid. 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 You try and breathe. Oh. Sifrin, it's fine. It's just the end again. It's the same. I'm so sorry. There's no way we can stop it now. You'll just be... You'll be going back. Back to when everything started. See? You already know what will happen after that. If you know what happens next, it means you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Sifrin? Odal knows what's going on. Something wrong? You turn your head. Odile is looking right at you. You can't shift your expression fast enough. Uh-oh. I'm confused. Um, watch the previous VOD and you'll understand. Sifrin, what is it? Is everything okay? And housemaiden, is something the matter? I can't fix it on my own, not before it all ends. If only I'd notice sooner. Huh? Well, what's happening? Frin? You can't move. You're frozen. Sifrin, what's... Oh! I is something happening? The air around us. It feels like... Oh! 
My head hurts. It's my fault that you have to suffer like this. Sifrin! They're all running, reaching towards you. Friend, come back! Something's wrong! You have to move. Sifrin! Just move! I just hope that one day you can catch Isabeau's hand. Sif! Sif! Sifrin! You might learn. You take a step forward to forgive and then. Loop number 29. You open your eyes, hand already reaching out, reaching out to nothing. Stupid. You press your palms against your eyes. Wait, I only have one eye, huh? And laugh. You really believed it, stupid. You really thought this was it. You really thought helping them would save you. If you helped them, if you were loved, it had to save you, didn't it? A friendship would save you, wouldn't it? Ha ha ha! It was different, but not enough to save you. Now, Maribel is back to feeling awful and out of place. Isabel won't remember the night you spent under the stars. I Odell is still hiding everything about herself. Bonbon bon is back to Bonnie. Is back to hating you. And you're back here. And that's what you get for hoping. That's what you deserve. Ha 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 Oh, Maribel will be here soon, won't she? Just breathe, Sifrin. The power of friendship didn't work, it's fine. All you can do is try something else now. It's fine that it didn't work. It's fine that they don't remember. It's all fine that everything that just happened has been reset. It's totally fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Back to the stage. You get a memory of family. You will always remember this. When equipped, Memory of family doubles everyone's XP gained in battle, except for yours. That's not that important. As for the head housemaiden, she didn't say anything different. It was the exact same, even though... Even though everything about her was different. Why is she repeating the same thing over and over? It was almost like you weren't there. The king of... The king spoke of something called Timecraft. It might be time to find out more. You should ask the Dormont Library and see if they know something. Damn. I really wanted that to be the end, but I guess not. Well, here we are, back at the start, everybody. Surely I won't have to do everything again, surely. Surely. But we're gonna pause here for today. Next time, We'll go to the library. Dude, I really wanted this to be done. Shit. Okay, well. Well. I guess we're finishing this tomorrow, guys. Who the heck is Marinara? It's my alt account. You know, I don't want stream snipers. Well, it. I don't know how we're gonna edit this. I thought this was the end, but it's not. Guys, I'm gonna pause here for today. I'm wrapping up stream now because I literally have to make dinner before my sister wakes up. So, uh, don't worry. We did get some donations today, so we get to do calligraphy. We also had a donation from yesterday that I didn't do because my. Landlord didn't pay the power bill, so we'll do yesterday's donations as well. So, let me get some music on. I'm not annoyed at the game yet, because, like, everything is canon and makes sense, but it's still like, fuck. I gotta do this shit again? But it's fine. You're fine. Everything's okay, it's fine. I like this different voice a lot. Even though it's, like, my normal voice, but a bit more proper. Uh, let's do... This compilation is called DS and Wii Era Fruitager Era. VOD Watchers, I'm sorry you're not hearing it. I'm being prejudiced against the VOD Watchers. 
Okay, you guys know the drill. Use your channel points and I'll write your name. Or if you cheer bits, I'll say thank you and write your name now. And that was a long ass stream. I also like don't mind this game too much because since I know what I have to do, it's like not it's not like I have to do something different every time I know where I'm going. Thank goodness the stage is not more than three levels. And thank goodness the stage are fairly simple. So also guys, um if you enjoyed today's stream, consider checking out today's sponsor, but not a sponsor. Because it's my own business, guys. If you like the paintings you see back here, it's all my original artwork. I have new Lino prints available. There are color and black and white versions. Also, if you get the single versions, you have a 10% chance of getting a hollow. One lucky customer got a hollow on their first purchase, and I was really annoyed. But you know what? They got it. So guys, go bookmark the website today. If you bookmark it, it does help me a lot. You know, clicks are important. Okay, I'm going to get the camera set up. Dude, I really wanted to beat this game today. I really did. But I'm I'm like doing everything right. I'm doing everything correct. It's just it's not meant to be, I guess. I remember back when I first started streaming, I only did two hour streams. Imagine this game would take like literally four months to beat if I did two hour sessions of it. Like legitimately. It'd be like peace luck. Huh? Oh my god, there's two of me. There we go. <laughs> Don't add my name again. We had one donation from yesterday, so it's not going to be four Vicks on one page. Don't worry. Don't worry. Why are you are you like concerned about your reputation? Don't you want to be known as a peace and supporter? <laughs> My rep gotta have street cred tough on these streets. I don't know. I'm not saying you should, like, stop donating, but, like... Either way, I appreciate it. It helps me buy, buy video games. And also art supplies, too. Doo -doo. Mm-hmm. Doo -doo. streamer doesn't want us to donate no i said you in particular not not everybody everybody else can except vic <laughs> yeah don't subscribe do not spend money here that used to be or vod watchers you might not see it it's a copy pasta here i'll copy and paste it YouTube VOD watchers, here you go. A little treat. This was a copy pasta, like back when I first started getting viewers. But my sub my sub count was higher back when I had three viewers than now. It's kind of wild. I mean, I still average three viewers now. <laughs> but
it sucks because obviously viewer count is average but there are points throughout the stream where i'll have like 10 but i don't know because i look at it after i end stream and i'm like oh my god 10 people ain't no way yeah everybody who watches peace is automatically cool I was debating if I wanted to do a sap game on stream, but I already got a win offline earlier. Because right now I'm trying to grind to get level 3 pets, the achievements. And I learned that you can only get those achievements when you do normal or hard arena mode. Sorry, I, I saw the word stroking and I genuinely got very scared. You know, I almost had to ban you, Vic. You can't be saying words like that in my chat. Once again, thank you to Clouds of Millie for the gifted sub yesterday. Thank you. Also, first time chat yesterday, too. Thank you. We hope to see you again in chat. Okay, guys, you have to stop donating. This is literally my last page. Okay, no more donations until, like, oh, shit. I can't buy a new journal till next month. Oh, shit. We'll just do it on other paper, and then I'll transfer it to the journal when I buy a new one. The only thing I want for the rest of the month is Twitch Prime subs. That's literally all I want. And maybe your mother's. That too. I want the combo. Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. Not gonna lie, I love doing the double T's. Oop, my sister's up. Uh oh. I think I woke her up. Shit. Do, 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 do. Me when stream ends. Aww. But, you know, you got an extra long stream today. It was like a subathon almost. But for free. Okay, guys. Does anybody want their name written? Subscribe or use your channel points now. Literally do it now. Also, no raid. Nobody's live. I've been streaming a lot this month, besides, like, the, the four days I took off, like, last week, and then the three-day week and I took this week. But my hours are up. Peace and stocks? On the rise. Oh, once again, thank you, Vic, for the 350 bits. I forgot to say verbally. Okay, guys, I'm wrapping for today. Plan is simple. Uh, I should be streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. I, pro I might be able to stream this weekend. We'll see. Either way, we're going to beat this game. I'm hoping one more stream. I am hoping and praying, and I never pray, <laughs> that one more stream of this game, it's been 
Like, 30 hours we've put in so far? Because it's been... This is, like, day four or some shit, right? Holy fuck. Okay. Hopefully the payoff will be good. I just want to see what happens. I want to see what happens in the game. Should we just watch, like, a all endings compilation on YouTube? No, we're not doing that. I will not give in. I would like to thank you all for watching. Any chatters, lurkers? Long stream, long stream. Once again, thank you to Clouds of Midley for the gifted sub today. And thank you to Vacantant for the 350 bits. And once again, I'm sorry that the chat highlight didn't work. L Twitch. I wish I could disable it, but I can't. Wait, can I? Wait, let me see. Can I disable the... I'll see if I can. The message effects. Let's see. Viewer rewards, power-ups. Manage power-ups. Edit. Oh, I literally can't disable it. Can I make it zero bits? Oh, I can make it zero bits. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Wait, you know what? I'll just make them really expensive so mo nobody does it. I'll do like a thousand bits. We'll make them all fucking expensive. That way nobody does it. <laughs> I'm making them- I'm literally making them all a thousand bits, that way nobody fucks with it. That's smart. Yeah, let's see. Did it update? Oh my god, it literally updated. <laughs> that way, if somebody does it, then they're the sucker. <laughs> well, because no, I literally have not seen- I, Okay, I've only seen one- I've only seen it in one stream, and they did like the- which one? They did the on-screen celebration where, like, a bunch of emotes show on screen. But, like, it looks stupid. It looks stupid. Wait, can I even do it in my chat? Let's see. On-screen celebration. Wait, I can do it on my own channel? Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, my God. I can do it for free? <laughs> It costs channel points for me, but plot twist, I literally have infinite channel points. That's- wait, I can literally- wait, wait. It doesn't show it for VOD watchers. Sorry, Twitch VOD watchers and YouTube VOD, you will not see it on screen. L Twitch for not adding it to the overlay. Wait, I want to see what they actually look like. Message effects. Choose an effect. Select emote party? Oh, okay, okay. Wait, I want to see what they look like. Okay. Yo, let's do it. Okay, it doesn't show on on-screen chat. It didn't show on my mod view chat either. Huh. It literally does not, on my, in my OBS and in my Twitch mod view, the message that I typed AO did not show up at all. Plot to his piece and gives vacanted 1 million channel points. Nah, I, I can't participate in my own prediction, so I can't, like, falsely inflate the market. Gigafy and emote. Let's do piece and two punch. G Gigantify. Wait, okay, it, okay, the Gigantify does work on Twitch, but since my chat box is third party, it doesn't, it doesn't show Dude, these things are so stupid. I get why Twitch added them, like, to farm more donations. But they don't really add too much. That's really funny that it's free for me. Like, literally, I, I can do this. And it's free. <laughs> Guys, do you want to gigafy an emote in my chat? Cheer a thousand bits. And it will not show on screen, and it'll only show in the VOD chat. Oh, wait, we can check the actual VOD chat after. Hmm, I wonder. Okay, guys, we're done. Don't ever redeem the, um, whatever it's called. The power-ups for now, until Twitch, like, maybe updates the UI a little bit. It'd be cool if it did work here. I don't know. Sometimes I can see it in my mod view, but I cannot see the message effect ones. Twitch get good. You know what? I'll say this. A lot of the Twitch UI things that I've suggested in the Twitch surveys, they've actually integrated. Mm-hmm. They should put me on the team, but if they put me on the team, then I can't stream, I don't think. I don't... Can Twitch staff for a stream? I can't remember. I think they can stream, but they're limited on their monetization, I think. 
I don't know. I could be spreading misinfo. Twitch staff, if you're watching, which I know you love the peace and dream, and just like tell me and clarify. But I don't. I don't know if I'd want to work for Twitch. Working for a tech company is stupid. And look, I want to be an artist. See this? Okay, bye guys. I'm yapping too much. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. New YouTube. Excuse me. New YouTube video. Click the link to watch it now. Does my big brain make me smart smarter? <laughs> Cannot help me talk. And if anything, I know it's it costs money to sub on Twitch, but on YouTube it's free. Ain't no way. Guys, go subscribe to the YouTube. Weekly stream highlights on the main and daily clips on the clip channel. Go subscribe. Do it. Once again, thank you to Jeremiah for the follow today. And thank you to Vicantin for the 350 bits total today. Thank you for your support. And once again, thank you, Millie, for the gifted sub yesterday. The plan is simple. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ho hopefully to finish this godforsaken game. I'm hoping and praying that I actually beat it tomorrow. It I do assume it'll take like one or two more loops. We got a good community. I don't like saying the word community because it has like this word in it. <laughs> so, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I, I don't like saying like, I love chat or I love the community because like, I don't want grocery stalkers, you know what I mean? Also, it's cringe. Anytime my favorite YouTuber says, Oh my god, I love my viewers. It's like, no, you don't. Collectively, you might like us, but there's probably some freaks mixed in. And I mean freak in a mean way. Oh no, I like chat. Chat is fun. Dude, I can't imagine streaming without, like, active viewers chatting. It would make me so sad. Peace and these are inside thoughts. Are you telling me to like not? I almost said exhibit. That's the wrong word. To not use my freedom of speech. This is America, goddammit. Kate Kona clan. My godforsaken rat. My father and my grandfather fought for those rats. <laughs> 